Hey, D.O.T. community, this is Alon coming at you with a Alliance War Blade and Bulwark. How we doing, D.O.T. community? Time for a Artemis and Poseidon event. And for those of you who have not gotten an Artemis before, or a Valorn, or a Volstan, or a Poseidon, this event is for you. So, and there seems to be pretty decent participation. Oh, there's Bo Gonora. How we doing, Bo? How you doing? Ah, nice to see you join. I think yeah, you've been you've been a bit busy, but uh, it's great to have you. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was um, evidently uh, some gremlins got in my box of YouTube stuff, and I wasn't able to do this stream last night. Because I could not get anything to work. <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, we'll just cancel it and I'll figure it out this weekend. Nice. Well, this is definitely a, uh, I was just saying, a, a, I would say semi-popular event based on the fact that you may have an Artemis or Poseidon or Volorn or Volstan. And may well, not it seems to be fairly popular. Yeah. Um, I mean, D filled up all three teams with finishers before the event started, basically. Yeah. So, I, don't know why the I mean, top 50 wasn't showing up. That, that's a pretty good indicator of popularity. I hmm. didn't think it was going to be quite this popular because I thought, well, you know, There's... Balorn's a bit of a lower tier defender at this point, and Artemis has been around a couple of times. So I figured, you know, but hey, what do I know? Right, right. All right, Churro, thanks for joining. Simon, Lex. Dead Nixon, <laughs> Daniel. Dead Nixon. That's all. Soldier awesome. says I was going live. Oh yeah, Soldier. Since when do you go live? <laughs> when do you go live with Solon DMT? always goes live on Thursday. Well, night. well Fridays. Always, Usually Fridays. Usually Fridays. Usually Fridays. I'm not gonna be around tomorrow night, so I'm. You can go tomorrow oh, night. Oh, okay. Soldier. So you're not. You can, okay. Yeah, you can go tomorrow night, Soldier, or you can go Saturday or Sunday. When do, when do you go live on Thursdays? Hmm. BMT, what's going on, JR? Good to see you. This is the old and new Artemis. Yeah, it's a new Artemis. More popular than everyone was expecting. Yeah, right, Daniel? daniel son. Yeah. So how far are you going, Zalon? Well, I was going to go to... I had picked out here in the reward slider, which... Oh, look, there's Hercules in his pelt. I wish there was the four-star Nymean pet lion pelt. That'd be nice. But because uh, I still yeah. have the four star, but I, I think I think I have like two three stars. Valorant's helm. It's nice to get another one of those. I'll be honest with you. But I would like to get to between eleven and sixteen. So either I'll get a bulwark and a blade because we're gonna def. Well, I thought we were gonna be between fifty one and a hundred. So it looks like we're actually <laughs> we're we're ranking pretty high in twenty eighth place. So I might be getting an Artemis no matter what. But um, anyway, when it comes down to the uh, the tokens, though, um, I definitely wouldn't mind grabbing another Valorn. That'd be my fourth one because I already have two Volstands, but it'd be my fourth Valorn. <laughs> and uh, for the Blade token, uh, if I can get up there to 16, we'll see. We'll see what happens. No, no promises since I'll be away this weekend. But I was going to do some triple stacking. I was thinking about doing some triple stacking. Sweet. Tonight here on stream, so just to get some souls out of the way. On the, uh, did you load up on the uh, theaters of war? Um, there's just a little bit of background noise there, Bo, but I could I can understand what you said. So in TOW, I got four two stars, so for free, for free, four two stars for free. I didn't, I really didn't put ma uh, many gems. I what refreshed the gold, uh, like t thirty or forty minutes before they were done finished. Uh, uh their regular reload time from the day before. So, to, <laughs> to be honest, it cost me nothing. It was like daily gems. But, I'll tell you what, getting four two-star relics, along with, I have a bunch of save tokens as well, and also they gave us yeah. this free gift. Here, we're going to grab, yep. grab it right now, free gift. So there, there's another... They've gotten better about that. They've gotten better about, you know, doing the free gift when there's a maintenance window without... You know, people having to it about it. Yeah. 
So yeah, I got seven tokens, not including the tokens you get in in, in this event. Plus, yeah. So I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna get there pretty far. And uh, I since I have four two stars, I gotta pull some relics actually right now, so we can get some triple stack in action here started. What's up, Mayo Man? So that There's four a three star, star relic that's oh, yeah. that. Yeah, that, so that four-star relic that's at 7k so for the militia. It's been a while since we've seen that, hasn't it? Wait, wait which one? Or is that the one that's at 7k, the the militia relic. What, the coppice? There's another three-star. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was trying to remember when that was the last time we saw that. Because I don't think I have one. That's odd. Considering how much I like militia, right? Now, yeah, coppice. Uh, I forget when the last time we actually saw the coppice when it was initially released, but uh, last Volstan event is what FL Rebel says. Good to see you, FL Rebel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting a majority. Well, being that fact that I had four two stars. Yeah, we got an overabundance of two stars right now, but that's fine, because <clears throat> I just have an XP relic right there that I need to... Uh... Yeah, that... Uh, so I'm just going to be grinding tokens uh, for this event. If I get, you know, if I get the feeling froggy, I may jump to 7k and pick up that relic, but... Well, uh, you should have a coppice, to be honest with you. Dude. I don't think I do, man. I'd have to look and see, but... I don't think I do. Yeah, well, well then, to, it's to be real, for me. well, to then honestly, uh, stream dumped. That stinks. But anyway, um, for for you, Bo, I would I would highly recommend doing so because what what are we looking at next week? We looking at a uh, Egyptian Egyptian god coming next week? I don't know if that's next week or not honestly yeah 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 I, just, I, I watched the dev live stream yesterday and i'm, I'm pretty certain that was oh, see, i still haven't had a chance it's okay it's okay that. not a big deal but i was just gonna say it looks like that's what's gonna be happening next week so if that's the case yeah i would highly recommend just grabbing that uh, militia relic for you bo yeah because um i've got 12 12 tokens saved right now oh yeah yeah Get the ones from here. It'd be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up, Seth and my pod, Winifred? What's up, Chad? Thank you all for joining. Yeah, Conquest was scheduled for today, right, Daniel? Oh, well, it's coming <laughs> soon enough. Hakai Shin, thank you for coming. Oh, yeah, now it was the Relic event with Spearhead. I remember the Relic event with Spearhead, Hakai Shen. That was a good time. Lucas, what's going on? I'm going for Volstan and Artemis. Nice. Wow, thank you for everybody joining. I know, of course, the stream dumped, so, of course, everyone has to re-log back in. I also think part of the popularity of this event is the choice. Well, yeah. It's going to be choice! That's, uh, I mean, that's an old 70s, anytime old 70s had, anytime term. Anytime that we have had a... A, an event where you can choose something, it's been very popular. Mm. I don't know why they don't do it more often. Right. So we're just going to find ourselves. Oh, a couple people had messaged me about. There we go. Let's see where. What's up, Gary? Hi, all, and good night. Watch tomorrow. All right, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gary. <laughs> Daniel Sun says, Mr. Bo, I'm here because you haven't noticed. I'm driving, actually. I'm not watching the stream. I'm just listening to Zalon. But Daniel Sun, mm -hmm. welcome. <laughs> See? All right. So we're going to do a little VPPP because, actually, it's just a good time to... Again, I would like to get Artemis up to 51 as well. This is one of the new Artemises. If you want to see the skills I have on her, she's got Panthers resist against oh, nice. Earth. Why? Why would that be a yeah. good Artemis, huh? Hmm. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, you want to be able to take down any kind of uh, Earth situation, but with the resistant Panthers to Earth. And then, of course, uh, I got the Panthers armor. Eh, not the greatest, but you know. So if they've got resist Earth, 
does that make them dirty cats or clean cats? <laughs> well, I guess they would be clean. They would be clean cats because they resist it, right? That's right. What's up, Dauntless? Uh, Zalon, thank D for me. Spot, cheers. Oh, for the spot. Oh yes, Gary. No problem. Yeah. Uh, yes, especially for all sorts of events. Uh, we're always open for people to come in to play the event with us. It's always very much appreciated. So sh shout out to D because I don't know how she does what she does, but very good at it. Well, I had to remind yeah. people before it's it is part of what she does for her regular job as being a person that goes and organizes events and does stuff like this. Yeah. So it, it right. isn't something like extinction. How are we doing? But um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of watching D train of uh, Aragon. Oh, over you know, in Legends. In the, in the, in the in ways. The yeah. In the ways. Yeah, and and he's over here right it, now. I told it, him I was streaming. So it's an education to watch D train somebody how to do what she does. And, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just like, wow. Okay. She's like, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. When people say this, you need to smack them in the head and say, no, do it this way. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. We're like, oh, D, dang. <laughs> right? Rough. Yeah. Now, Tough love. That's what it is. Tough love. I do have to point something out. This is what she did, though, and when it comes down to training. Because look where NTG Hammer is. And uh -huh. and, yeah, exactly. And notice where NTG Legends is. So the yeah, look what happened. She unleashed. Yeah. She unleashed the well. beast. Although I don't know where Nontoxic <laughs> is right now because I noticed that Hammer is just two spots below us. But regular uh, Nontoxic, which used to be NTG War, is not in the top fifty. But maybe they're gonna hold out for top one hundred. To be all honest with you, when you get fifty one to one hundred, you just get a choice between an Artemis or a Poseidon. So it's basic. Right. It's still basically yeah. winning. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. Um, I'm, there may be people that drop souls, drop out of top fifty because they want the choice. That happens mm. when that when that fifty to when that fifty one to hundred relic is or a uh, reward is is different and unique like that. A lot of times you have positioning that goes on. So. You could be outside top 50 when you go to bed, and, and then when you wake up in the morning and the event's over, you got pushed up because people were dropping. That's happened to us before. Now, I, and I, I agree, Bo, that definitely has happened in the past. I remember that happening as well. D did pop in and said, oh, my God, just popped on and heard you guys talking about me. She's been – this is not – that's not true. I guarantee D's been in the stream <laughs> since the beginning, and now she's just like, oh, you guys are talking about me? <laughs> D, jump on Discord and talk to us. Goodness. Yeah, right. We were singing your praises. You could tell us. You could be yeah. here to hear it live in person yeah. on YouTube. That's right. But can't find us. We're in the streamer room in the regular non-toxic uh, Discord server. Yeah, non-toxic public Discord streamer room one. Yes. It's like the recording studio. And if you can't get into the streamer room one, jump in the waiting room and move. But you should be able to get in here. You should have permissions. Yeah, she does. She's got the influencer tag, so she should be able to get in. Mm, what's up, Fast Cart? Tag her. How we doing? Thank you for showing Fast up. Fast Cart. What's up, Fast Cart? Fast Cart's actually in NTG Legends right now, too. Made the right choice. And joining the right team for this, and definitely for this week. This is the uh, best that NTG Legends has ever done in when it comes down to events. Beating precious uh, D's precious hammer right now. That's pretty impressive. I'm sure she's jealous. <laughs> nice, Hakai Shin. Watching and grinding. No, uh, Daniel Sun's an NTG hammer. Good choice, Daniel. There she is. Hey, D. I couldn't find you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was collapsed. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I think that time where you were teaching me how to use Discord, 
I must have collapsed it. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> I really yeah, did well, just turn it on, and we were eating, and we heard, we were like, I was like, oh my god, they're talking about me. <laughs> I have to go back and listen now, because I don't know what you said prior to that. Oh, it was all good. It was all good. Uh, mostly good. Mostly? <laughs> mostly. <laughs> Just, just as long, because we were beating Dee's precious hammer, so I had to make sure you rub it in a little bit, even though you weren't here. Well, so, Legends um, tried really hard last week, and they didn't make um, Top 50, and everyone was really upset, and so, like, the whole mood there was kind of, like, down, and so we needed to bring them up, and this was a really good event for them, especially free-to-play players, right, because you're getting three good titans for not very much. Exactly. And also, too, when you look at it this way, I noticed some people's names that are coming up from Knights and some people that came up from Dragons. Is that true? So, yeah. So what we did was, um, you know how I just kind of, as things happen and I just go with them. So mm. I made a list and I said. Oh, she made a list, list, everyone. She made a list. Oh, like, my goodness. She's got <laughs> a list. And polls, that's what I did. You just made the list. <laughs> well, I, I just said, who wants a spot? And people started saying, I'm finishing, I'm finishing. Now, this was on. I had four finishers on Wednesday, bef- uh, no, on Tuesday night before the live stream. I had four finishers. And so I'm texting Bo, and I'm like, yeah, this is going to be an interesting event. It's really popular. And he's like, I don't see this being popular at all. And I was like, well, I have four people already. So then the live stream happened, and then I had more people. And then I had like 10, and then I had 15, and then 20 people signed up to finish. And I was like, you know, Legends has a chance at this. So I, I told Asian, I said, I'm giving you everybody. We'll prioritize legends. You take them. Uh, I'll do this with you, but you have to do it my way. <laughs> you have to do it my way. And we'll make sure that you guys are solid. And I, I overshot it because I was just so afraid. Because, I, you know, you, you, you fail once, you don't want to fail a second time, right? You learn your lesson, and you make it better, and you do better, and you succeed, right? So that's what they're doing. And so, um, yeah, I, I overshot it a little. I was like, oh. We need 15 finishers. Nope, we need 20. You know what? I'd be really comfortable if you got, you got the 30 finishers. <laughs> 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 That's kind of what happened. And they they have, like, more, I think they have more finishers than non-toxic because we're not even in top 50. No, it's good for good for them. I was telling, when stream first started, I was telling Zalon, I'm a bit surprised at how popular this is. I, um, You were totally I would have. I would have thought that, like, okay, so, like, you know, Valorans are kind of a, like a tier two defender at this point, right? Um, right, but think you know, of who's Artemis has been around. Right, well, for Legends, I can understand it from Legends. I'm, I, I kind of see this as a makeup event. But I, it, I think it goes to show that anytime they give players the choice of rewards, like with the tokens, yeah. it makes it more popular than it normally would have been. Because yep. if this was an event that the had, X factor, you know, the X factor, I yeah. agree. Yeah. So I don't know why they do that. They don't do that more often. Maybe this will prove a point to them that uh, that's what we want is choice. You know. Yeah. Well, and I think that's why people choose to do events. So, like, if you can please more people, then more people are going to want to do it. And that's yeah. part of why we want to go for top one hundred because it's a no brainer. There's more yeah. options for the team. I, I think everyone's going to want that Artemis, but um, maybe there's a couple people that want Poseidon. Who knows? Now, the goal of, the, of our three teams was to go for top 100. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Exactly. And I mean, nope. if we can, if we can safely do it and, and guarantee it, then we'll do it. But um, it where's uh, where's non-toxic? Yeah, where is non-toxic at? Um, hold on. Because I would tell you what, I'm in Dragons, and we are 50. solid. We are solid top 750. <laughs> You're the man, Bo. That, that's partially our fault, because we took a bunch of Knight people, we took a bunch of Dragons people, and they all went to Legends. But that's, that's how I knew this event was going to be popular. I mean, three event teams. And, you know, I've been full since about an hour after the event started, and then we just had someone drop out. Like, I'm on my way home from work. Boom, I filled it right up. And I yep. turned about a dozen people away, and I have a wait list of six. All a yeah, wait so, list. I mean, it's like, yeah, a wait list for yeah. an event team of six. And I'm That's sending great. people right now to, um, I, I sent them to the kingdom, and now the kingdom's full. And now I'm sending all my players to events are us. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, well, see? I don't want to turn them away. See, so I'm gonna... D is, see, D is, she's not selfish. She's mm-hmm. not hard hearted. She will, she, she looks out for her people. Oh, even I if totally it's not with do. us. <laughs> I don't nice just say, man, oh, man. sorry guys, I'm full. I'm like, oh, sorry guys, I'm full, but I saw a couple other recruiters recruiting. Well, some, some of those, some of those alliances do that. Sorry, we're full. And then right, that's well, it. FL Rebel says, yeah. guys, it's way too early to gauge brackets. So I, yeah, well, it's Thursday, of course. Well, yeah, it is. But, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're just commenting on what we're seeing so far. You know, we do have, we do have event tokens from Theaters of War out there. Those, those are in play. There was a free gift. So those are in play. And there was a head start pack. So we just mm-hmm. have to see where they fall. All right, so I'm going to catch up a little bit on chat. Uh, let's see. Buh, 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 buh. Fast cart, you're known as the grindy beast. That's awesome. I got a good Valorn, Lightning Void, and Earth Resist. Nice extinction. Gosh, that's the, exactly what you would like. Um, yeah, it was all good stuff, B- BMT. We weren't lying. I'm going to finish, Daniel says. That's great. Uh, Mayo wants to know for Lower Castle, are building relics worth it? Building relics. If you're referring to like the spell economy relics, like for the uh, golden food, uh, not particularly golden food, but the uh, when it comes down to time for troops, that is one that you could you you know if especially for some of the uh, um, although although to be honest, they did say that they're going to reduce time for all the troops here in the in the in the updates to come. So. So they're going to reduce time for troops and release four-star economy relics, which will reduce it even further, which is going to be yeah. awesome. So look at that as in, if anything, you may not want to just heavily invest in them right now because the four-star ones are going to be better anyway. And yeah, they will I, be I battle drops. Use the three stars if I, you have them at level one, and then just yeah. hang off on working on those until you get four star. Because version. the four star, I'm assuming, and again, a lot of people will probably be on the same page, but they're most likely going to be battle drops. Most likely, I don't know if they're going to make an event around them, but I it, don't you know. know that anybody would participate in an right? event for economy relics. Exactly, you know. Unless they were like five star versions, they could probably get some for that, but it would have yeah. to be like. An 8K event, not anything crazy. Right. Corey says, wait, what? Per- is Alana going to triple stack? Yeah, I'm going to triple stack here very shortly. Just for a little bit. And if I can get a couple more one stars, I got so many two stars, it's ridiculous. Uh, you got your first four star from a Titan token today. Talon, very nice fast cart. Talon, sweet, especially with his newer skills. Sweet. Um, so this is this is a great event for people like fast cart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he has any summoners at all. So. This is awesome for, you know, for those players. Winifred says, hey, D. See, you got your fans here, D. They're not here for me. They're not here for Bo. They're here for D. (laughs) That's right. Wait, what did you say? I said, Winifred says, hey, D, (laughs) in the chat. And I said that it's, it's Winifred. Do I know who Winifred is? Win- I have so many people that are like, or, oh, I'm blah, blah, blah on the stream. Win- oh, I'm sorry. It's Winfred Vanderveer. I don't know who that is. Well, you got fans. I had somebody the other day who <laughs> said, sent me a message and said, I'm going to make you my new girlfriend, but tell me, are you a diva or a cougar? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a diva. That yeah. was the Defin- I don't think I'm the either. Diva. diva. Definitely, Definitely a diva. Drum, di- Drum and I agreed it was a diva. Yeah. I'm totally not a diva. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> You're a DOT diva. Okay, so You're re- definitely a DOT diva. So I'll tell you that. Rewind the tape. Rewind the tape because you told you told um, Asian. I'm going to help you, but you're going to do it my way. Mm-hmm. Is that a diva, though? <laughs> That's just bossy. <laughs> Fast Car says, anyone getting the $14 oh, head start dear. offer? If I didn't Someone have a whole bunch of our, of tokens That's already true. and getting all the two stars, I would have definitely invested in that. So it, it just depends on your position. So, yeah. And you have to invest earlier say? than later. Said, no, that's just being an effective leader. Oh, I got you. That's true. But yeah, you could be a diva and be an effective leaper at the same time. They're not mutually exclusive. Yeah, I, I think diva is a negative thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Extinction brought up something very important here in the chat. He says she has a new profile pic, everyone. 
Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. now, did, you get, did you get your pick fixed? Finally? I took a new, I made him take a new one. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you right yeah. now, and I haven't gotten around to it yet, but Dee's profile pic, just so you know, was taken... Have you not seen it? Was ta yeah, I've seen it. It was taken at an angle overlooking, like, a uh, very nice, uh, you know... The Hudson River. Exactly. It's a, it, But it's v very much in the background to the point to... It makes Dee look quite tall. Now... I would like to, I would like to, 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 I was thinking about making a, a meme that would have like a, you know, I am tall. a five, a five foot ruler next to her so that everybody would know that really <laughs> the picture can be deceiving. All right. Cause it makes so her the first picture that I saw. I'm like, wow, it looks like these hairs like three and a half feet long. No, it's really just two feet long. It is. It goes down to my butt. That's what I said. Two feet long. Mm -hmm. Two feet. It's actually braided, so it's not as long when it's braided, but it does go uh, down to my head. Long hair. <laughs> Drum is giving me a crazy look. D is incredibly tall for a midget. <laughs> <laughs> but so everyone knows, if you haven't seen it, the picture is deceiving, just so everyone knows. Since up, so so the, the story that I heard was that uh, because D is short, it, it, it drum was out of stands for his drums. So he said, D, just stand right here and hold this cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, hello, hello. What's up, Fury? Drum's like, this song needs more cowbell. More cowbell. Like a <laughs> <laughs> uh, Extinction says I got one head start only. Yep, it just depends. Oh, fast cart. Soldier got four. Because Soldier's a baller. <laughs> nice. Stacking paper. Stacking paper. <laughs> That's right. Soldier. Corey says, I got to the Bulwark token with just one head start offer and one 24k gem event token pull from the altar. Okay. Corey, what's in your game? Oh, uh, yeah. Corey, yeah. What is your in-game name? I got seven relic boosters from TOW and zero gems spent on it. Oh, wow. Nice. That's quite a few. Oh, Kool-Aid says that I missed the D pick. Well, if you're in, if you're in band or no, it's still, it's still the same here in discord. I guess if you join, if, uh, if D changes her pick here in discord, then maybe you'll see it. If you join the, uh, NTG public, uh, DOT chat, just depends. It's up to her. I think I'm out of these. Nope. Yeah. All right, we'll start the triple stack here. In two battles. Welcome to Wendy's. May I take your order? <laughs> yeah, like a triple stack, please. Yeah, I like to get a triple stack. Give me one. Give me two. One for now. One for later. Yeah. What is it? Dave's original. We call it now. <laughs> Single, double, and triple stack. Do you think Dave Thomas would have been all about DOT? I don't know. <laughs> He'd be sure like, like the triple stack, though. That's right. That's right. Be like, mm, how about every time I say triple stack, I get a free frosty. <laughs> Live stream sponsored by Wendy. Sponsored by Wendy's. Triple stack. <laughs> Triple stack. <laughs> wow, I can't I can't stop getting two star XP relics. I mean, I'm not going to complain. We're going to get we're going to get the 51 Artemis. Oh man, I have so many two star XP relics stacked up. It's not even funny. Well, no, like, I'm, I'm just getting at them. This point, it's like, ah, what do you want? I'm just getting them back to back to back. Deal now. with it. Oh wow. Okay. So I'm going to see, I'm actually on my way home on a Thursday, which hasn't happened in forever. Really? So, mm. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, knock out some uh, event grinding tomorrow during the day. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You see? You see? <laughs> you just wanted to say that, Drum. You're so... <laughs> Yesterday was National Hamburger Day, wasn't it? Yeah, Corey says, yeah. 
nearly up to 16k on my second account. I got four star, bunch of three stars, loaded two, and a few uh, few ones. Wow, Fury. Yeah, I noticed mildly Fury was uh, was uh, rocking it at the top of the list. Nothing mild about that. Right. <laughs> We might have to move to semi-aggressive fury. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Crap, I got to... All right. We're going to get to the triple stack. I just only have... How far are you going, Talon? Are you going all the way for this? Uh, I, somewhere between, what is it, 11 and 16K? Somewhere in that range. Mm. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I previewed the event. Uh, I mean... It really looks like that there's some great stuff in there. Relic choices are like, eh, there's some, some you know, premium relics that I don't think are, are fantastic. But uh, as far as Titans go, it's 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 top notch. Yeah, I like Lawrence Helms in there. I like that. Um, yeah, yeah, but, totally, man. I saw that. I was like, that's a great pickup. Yeah, exactly. But there was like an Artemis relic that I was like, oh, that's garbage. And there was some other relic I was like, oh, that's not very good either. Yeah, like the I, Golden I Fleece and that. Nature's Wrath. Yeah, Golden yeah. Fleece. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And Nature's Wrath. Those two. I was like, these yeah. are just. Uh, and, the hunters, killer, and the Hunter's Bow, as stated in Vintage's video, brings up a great point about the Omega Panthers don't need more critical. You know? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Forget about it. Crit don't forget so about easy. the Copus. Oh well, yeah, the Copus, Copus for the militia, yeah, and your and your Dionysus isn't a bad isn't a bad relic at all with the militia armor. Yeah, militia well, health. you know, here's the, here's the thing with the Copus. It's like, yeah, Copus is a decent relic, but you know, they're they're sort of beating us over the head with Copus. Yeah. And and bottom line is, <laughs> Bo doesn't have it yet, though. Bo still doesn't have it. Why do Why do I not have one then? Oh my God, Bo, you have let militia down, yeah, right? Christ, how do you not have it? It's... I don't know. I, I'm just sitting here going. Why don't I? I don't think I have one. Dio so like, was well, for you, man. You brought Dio into the game with yeah. your love of militia, and you don't even have like one of their premium relics. Mm -hmm. Was it in the Dio event? It wasn't, was it? No, no, no. no. This is this is okay. later, but still, I right. think about man. Right? They yeah. might as well call it uh, Bo Ganora instead of Dionysus. Mm, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. See. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See. <laughs> But I'll I'll tell you what, Drum. Out of from your experience in the past on when it comes down to events, the ones where they give us tokens to let us choose Titans, weren't they some of your favorite events? Oh yeah, I love it, man. I love I love. The, well, first of all, there's two there's two choices, or maybe in this event there, there's three choices because one, you can choose to do the event or not. Uh, two, you can choose to do the event, and then you can choose the Titan that you want, and and three. You also get to choose a secondary Titan if you want. So uh, I, th I think it's fantastic, man. Poseidon is still a, a killer Titan, uh, and he's better than ever because you're not going to roll the damage against Titans. Or if you do roll damage against Titans, he's going to be fixed uh, whenever they drop this new update to, to have a damage instead of a damage against Titans. Uh, Artemis is top-notch. And if you're struggling with a Sobek, man, you get yourself a Void Resist Artemis. Forget about it. You're just going to just crap all over that thing. And then uh, Valorn, man. Uh, I, I can't remember what the other Titan was that was competing with Valorn, but Valorn's... Volstan. Really Voldan? Volstan. Volstan. Oh, Volstan. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, Volstan isn't doing anything, uh, to, to be completely honest with that. So you would be uh, very silly to choose Volstan over... Uh, Valorn. Uh, yeah. Uh, on my on my uh, uh, account, man, I got four Valorns and you mean D's account. G. What's that? Yeah, exactly. D's account. <laughs> I'm gonna push G to do this event, so she has another Valorn. So we have five Valorns because it's just that great of a land defender. You know, regardless of uh, of skills that you roll, it's always gonna take time, and, and people are are gonna be like, oh, let me cap this land. Oh, it's a Valorn. And uh, about 75% of the people that see that will be like, oh, let me just go to an easier land. You know, they're not going to yeah. bother with it. So yep. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a killer Titan, man, with, without a doubt. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a fan of this event. I, I feel like they could have done better with relics. And if they did do better with relics, they would really have, uh, you know, uh, a winning uh, event this week where they would probably make a, a crap load of money. But the fact that they threw in some turds, uh, you're going to lose. 
a lot of your your pay players because a lot of like I mean for instance with the with my account uh, even though I don't play it man I got three max Artemis man I got four max Valorans and stuff it's like oh how much what am I really gaining out of this event by paying a hundred dollars and finishing it and it looks like a lot of people are playing on their minis that's what it seems yeah. like yeah 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 this totally. is a great yeah. event for those secondary accounts. Exactly. That you've been like, collecting tokens on and not really doing anything on. Because I know, like, on my mini mini, because I have a mini for my mini. And my mini mini, I've sitting, it's, it's sitting on like 19 tokens. Yeah. And I'm like, I probably should do this event on the mini, but on the mini. But with it being like a level 12 <laughs> account, uh, well, what would I do with the stuff, right? I mean, yes. I, I don't know. Valorian is not going to be effective with yeah. level 12 Spearman. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, ah, yeah, we'll wait and see. You know, yeah. it'll be something. It's a, it's a secondary account's dream, honestly. I mean, the, the amount of good stuff they're offering is fantastic. Uh, for your main account, uh, it, it will add to what you have, but, but chances are on your main account, you, you've received everything in this event uh, countless times over, so it's not. Uh, you know, yeah. it's not like except for the copus, evidently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't believe in copus. Like, yes, <laughs> on, on paper, it, it looks it's okay, good. Drum, because copus yeah. believes in you. <laughs> yeah. On paper, copus looks good, but but in game, I, I don't believe copus really performs at all because I don't believe militia are winning any defenses, regardless of the, the no, buffs no. that you put on them. No, no, no. Copus may buy you five seconds more of time <laughs> on a defense, but I mean, well, I have a couple of I have a couple of titans that I attack with the, uh, militia on. Uh, that being uh, Corthan and Dionysus, and I'm thinking, and I have to switch relics. There's a couple of relics that I have to switch back and forth. You It'll lost nice. me at, at Corthan. Why? <laughs> Why? All, credi- all credibility is gone. It's not. It's not. I don't attack garrisons with them. It's like resource rating, basically. Let me, let me guess. You go so, to solo Corthan? <laughs> no, no, no. Corthan and a bunch of militia. Chopping dude. through those defenses one swing at a time. <laughs> Corthan's just there for you know moral support. Uh, <laughs> you can do it, guys. That's right. Standing back there, going, "Let's go." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Jeremy, you, you coming back for Halloween? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm enjoying my time away from the game, but I'm also kind of uh, at a point where I'm a little bit disgusted with the new game I'm playing. So it's, it's a funny situation I'm in right now. Oh, like, well, uh, there's a solution. Maybe. There is a solution. There is another game, Drum, that you should take a look oh, at. Oh, yeah. And Bo, and Bo will let you know. It. it doesn't have the same kind of dynamics that the either Dawn of Titans or the Outrage Shadow right. Legends. So... Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 all right, so, you know how, so the difference in the, like, Alliance Cooperative, so the, the game that you're playing, the new one, has, like, guilds and stuff, but there's not really anything to do except attack the boss, right, yes. to, you know, but it's not, that's not really a guild activity, that's a cumulative individual activity thing, mm-hmm. the new game takes the cooperation that's required for Dawn of Titans to be successful and multiplies that by 10. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it can be pretty uh-huh. intense. Bo, Bo knows way more yeah. than I do when it comes down to it because so, he's experienced a bit more of it. So, is but this, the, Is this Second Galaxy? Yeah. Okay, so I downloaded that game, oh, but I, I, downloaded it too. I, I haven't actually logged in and, and went through the uh. Well, right, when so, you do, when you do right, so, drum, when you do PM, so PM me later, and I'll clue you in before you get started on what not to do. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Or just you know, I got a four hour drive. In and front it's of not me, gonna, so. it's not gonna pump a whole bunch of like, oh, you need to spend all this money right now in the beginning to be able to be successful. Oh, and the game did just yeah. drop like a week ago, like, so it's yes. super fresh. And it was in beta for a while, but they reset everybody. So on, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. Because uh, that's always a fear is that when they don't reset beta, then yay, global launch, and there's a player base that's already maxed. You know, yeah, you can see. Uh, 
yeah so the uh the, when they reset beta um and this applies to donna titans as well donna titans did not reset their beta players when they went to global um and when when they do reset beta the beta players still have the knowledge that they gain during beta but that's the only advantage they have is is you know they know what to do they still have to do it all again yeah um the one thing i do want to mention too as well and this is something that's going to blow everybody's minds but in just the corporation of like the ntg has there's 150 positions now we do have mm-hmm. what, how many p- people do we have right now bo like a, we're sitting at 130 of 150 and we're part of an alliance of 11 other corporations that are about the same so the organization is massive yeah oh and there's only yeah, one there's server about, there's only one server yeah everybody. there's about there's about 1500 people in our alliance right wait now. are you talking about the new game yeah oh yes, yes. yes I, gotta, I gotta log in because the, the, the numbers you're spitting just seem astronomical they're well yeah it, it's it's so it's a it's a it's a mmorpg and so everybody plays on the same server. There are not individual servers. And yeah, see, that's nice. Fast Car says, I uninstalled Second Galaxy after three days was too much like EVE. Yeah. See, I never played it's, EVE Online. Uh, and a lot of people say it's very much like EVE Online. And I never played it. So yeah, I don't mind giving it a shot. It, it, is, it is very similar. And... Um, Sorry, a little back to Dawn of Titans, but we're going to do a second Galaxy live stream over on the Non-Toxic Plays channel sometime next week. Yeah, uh, we, because... we were going to do it this week, but I had technical difficulties and couldn't even do my own stream, much less the second. So, yeah, sorry, but we will we will be doing an EVE Online marathon stream one day next week. Because, not an EVE Online, second Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, very, it's very similar but it's mobile. Eve was PC only. Uh, this is the mobile version. Oh, and it looks amazing. It Just so you know, it looks amazing. You do get. Oh yeah. Th- oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jerome, I will send you some screenshots when I'm not driving because it is amazing. Yeah. I, I downloaded the game, but I, I haven't actually opened it up to, to see what's going on. I know Wu downloaded it and he was happy that there were Asians in it. Yes. There are, <laughs> there are four factions. There's four factions in the game. And one of them is the, uh, basically, uh, uh, Oriental Asian look looking people. Um, they're you know, and uh, then there's some that are like kind of like Russian looking people, and then there's like uh, World War Two Germany looking people, and then there's the uh, like there's like a religious fact that uh, sect then and, and they like wear robes and stuff. They kind of look like the Jedi Order from Star Wars. Oh. Yeah, Kool Aid. Yeah. He's in the NTG raid and Second Galaxy teams. Yeah, Kool Aid. NTG plays uh, just outside of just a regular DOT. A uh, plenty of other mobile games besides even the ones that. Oh man, yeah. That that you know that some of the DOT players have uh, branched out and checked out in the last uh, I'd say a couple weeks or so. Yeah. Yes, we at NTG has people that are part of leadership. And what their contribution to the organization is, is they check out games that are coming or, you know, oh, and yeah. let us kind of give us if the If anybody here has ever so, checked out any of the uh, N- uh, NTG corporate channels, uh, <laughs> Tuesday night meetings, you know that there's plenty of other NTG players in other, uh, in other games, most definitely. I'll tell you, man, I never played a mobile game uh, before Dawn of Titans and, uh, and NTG was my my first community uh, that I've been a part of for gaming, and uh, and man, NTG is absolutely fantastic uh, for that. It it really is just a, a great family vibe, and uh, and it, it's so much more than uh, than the game when you become a, a part of the community, you know. Most definitely, yeah. most definitely, because we're I'm, we're seeing players, and probably you are too, Drum, when it comes down to raid that you're seeing players that might not have seen in DOT for a little while. So, I mean, I'm seeing some NTG players that I it may still be playing Dawn of Titans or may not be playing in other games. So it's it's awesome to, to, re- way, to reconnect. Will, if, if any of the NTG Raid players are listening, feel free to kick me because I 
Which I only have time for two. Sorry. <laughs> oh, weak sauce, though. That's weak sauce right there. <laughs> Not everybody can be soldier. Yeah, that's right. Man, soldier ain't doing anything in Don't <laughs> Die Dream. He's soldier. Dude's in like ancient gods. He's not even on the NTG team. Forget about that guy. <laughs> He's in the chat. He is complete weak sauce. The lawn got demoted with pride. Yeah, He's exactly. The lawn got demoted with pride. He's still rocking NTG. Soldier gets demoted. He goes to some other alliance that's not even NTG. Look at that guy. Lame. And for the record, weak sauce. It should be known that I don't play favorites. Nobody gets special treatment. If you don't hit mins, you get demoted. That's right. Oh yeah. I've lost, the, I've lost count of the amount of, amount of times that he kicked me. The lawn knows. The, the dude's in NTG fucking corporate. Sorry. <laughs> Corporate leadership. He's not even playing on the NTG team and doing a tight Well, so Weeks that's gone. that's so that's good. actually it's not a requirement. Weak sauce, man. Get, get it together. Get it together. <laughs> Ancient yeah. gods, man. You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't look in the mirror. Take a good look at yourself and think about what you've done. <laughs> think about what you've done, soldier. Oh, man. I feel like this is more about ancient gods than it is, soldier. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, What's up, Jason? just FYI, it's up, there? not actually a requirement that we be on an MTG team. Yeah, but we just you, typically on, do man. that. You know, corporate leadership you're not even gonna play on a non-toxic team like i mean what what example does that set yeah oh well here kool-aid brings up a second a good point here try second galaxy drum this has war team written all over it yeah see what it comes down to is inside of each corporation you can create fleets which is kind of like little mini groups yes and some people, if they would like to just mine, it, it, it's it's the same premise of why we have multiple NTG alliances in Dawn of Titans is because some people like to play hard. Some people like to farm. Some people are lower castle level. So in this aspect, in uh, Second Galaxy, you're able to create these little mini groups inside of your corporation. So if people just want to mine resources and they're not going to be super active or if they want to be pirates and they just want to go out and find people and just wreck house and just take all the spoils that could be this group and it's very easy to separate that kind of stuff and everybody still works as a team so pretty neat aspect you see you see you see <laughs> by the way we uh the game is less this is just like a little bit over a week old and we've already taken four star systems yeah, we need some more bullies, Drum. That's what uh, that's what Bo, Bo's trying to say. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be logging in. <laughs> How do I get on the, the NTG team? <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, just yeah, look us up in game, man. It's just non-toxic. NTG, like always. Okay. Wait, wait, is there like a, a clan search? Yeah. Yeah, when you get to the when you get to the point to where you can join a uh, the corporation they're called, it'll tell you it'll walk you through searching. So just do a search for NTG. We'll make room if there's not room. Oh, yeah. You know, there's All some right, people yeah. that, like, tried it two or three days, and then they're just dead weight. But we're, we're kicking people as we need room. All right. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll log in tomorrow, figure it out, and I'll, I'll join on it. Nice. BMT says he joined your clan. <laughs> there you go. Don't make. There you go. So, oh, yeah. Gio. Yeah. He's, he's in there. Don't make fun of Soul. I loved his videos, Roshan says. Oh, uh, we. So Dude, Soldier doesn't do videos, man. He had he had an absolutely fantastic thing going. What was it? Mm. What what do we call it when he was doing the early streams during the day? What was that called? Oh, uh, like early mornings with Soldier? Yeah. I, I, no, no, it wasn't no. No. Yeah. You remember, like he would stream like in the the AM hours, uh, East Standard Time. No, not season reset. <laughs> what the heck would he call it? I don't remember what Soldier called it. I called mine like Good Morning BOT or something like that. Yeah. So you know he had that thing going, and man, I I absolutely loved that man. That was just it was fantastic. He was a fantastic streamer. He was high energy. He had a lot of fun stuff going on. He had you know competitions going on in his stream, and it was uh, it was during hours that I was actually available to to watch this stuff where where I was grinding away on dot and then uh mm -hmm. you know you got like a new position at work and uh, and unfortunately that that had to stop but uh man 
that was that was absolutely fantastic. And uh, and since he mm. hasn't done that, honestly, we don't really hear too much uh, from soldiers. Yeah, I was gonna, I was I was gonna say that that wasn't by choice. That was a, a work thing that caused him not to be able to do that. Yeah, man. But those streams were were so much fun, and they, mm-hmm. were, just, they were great. I imagine that majority of U.S. players didn't really get to participate live. It was more of a U.K. Uh, base thing but man you know what was it like good morning dot or something what do you call those things so, um, those I, streams I were just so much fun man it just made you want to log in grind some stuff while you're you know checking out the stream and uh you know just uh, talking about shenanigans in the game it was, uh, it was a really good time I agree. I yeah, because it, it, it gives you an opportunity to the opportunity. play the game yeah, the opportunity. and an opportunity to listen to good stream <laughs> at the same time. gives you the opportunity to <laughs> – that's always what Soldier <laughs> would say. Oh, man, I always would rip him for that. Extinction. Hey, man. He, you know, his streams are great. He had, he had so much, uh, like um, – well, did, well, well he he did interviews though Moxie. too. Do you remember the interviews he did? He brought we, he brought in. Oh yeah. He brought oh, in. Yeah. What was it? Uh, it wasn't Scotty. It was uh, he brought the it, two people in. Oh from, my lord! And yeah. Uh, and and chef uh, chef base god. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that yeah. Was that's uh, yeah, we had the uh, we had the guy from uh, Events from, R Us uh, ERU. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Dude, why are you guys not bringing in leaders from other uh, other teams and, and talking to them about the OT? That's a good point. Right? <laughs> it's because yeah, I'm not so in why, line. Why are you it's because like uh, I'm not in line. Man. Oh, wait. That's a good idea for D. Oh, well, man. Yeah, so look, that's a good uh, idea so for D. She's Steel, in line. I got Steel Spine lined up to come on a Wednesday night stream one Oh, one do night. you? Now, that's fantastic because Steel mm. Spine, he's been an integral yeah. part of the community. That, mm. that is great. And I keep trying to get Yuki, and he's like, no, I'm not talking. Yeah, okay, not, I'm not talking. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you, you honestly, uh, you guys should should reach out and, and try and bring uh, I mean there's so many influential players uh, and people in the game right now and uh, and honestly YouTube doesn't feel like a negative thing right I don't see uh, you getting a negative kickback unless you know a person's abnormally shy uh, but I think uh, you know you guys should definitely uh, incorporate yeah you know, absolutely I'm, if I can do YouTube anyone can do YouTube it's not yeah, man. <laughs> No, it's not even YouTube for the players. I mean, honestly, can they do Discord? I mean, that's really all you Yeah, have. can you do Discord? Yeah, exactly. Can you download this app and talk to me? And it's like, yeah. Yeah. If you I can't use Discord, we can also do Skype. Um, yeah. You know, we could do Google Hangouts. We can do whatever. Hey, it's 2019. We we have the power. We have that's the technology. True. We have, we can, we can you know, build them better. <laughs> totally. I mean, I, you know, the... Natural motion uh, does not seem to be uh, engaging new uh, players uh, for their their test accounts, but you guys can can circumvent that by by bringing in you know top players of all these uh, successful teams in the game and weekly talking to them. And it seems like that the developers of Natural Motion do uh, listen to at least a portion of the YouTube content that's going on at DOT, and uh, and maybe. Uh, by you bringing in uh, these uh, successful players, you can shed some light on on some topics that maybe they didn't see uh, as an issue. Exactly. Or they've heard it once or twice, but if they hear it enough times, then maybe they'll do something about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, Roshan... the Boganora method of troubleshooting. Yeah. You just beat it over the head until it starts working. Yeah. I mean, I mean either yeah. or, like... You know, whatever. I mean, I'll, I'll talk uh, doing the Titans for, for days if, if you let me. Uh, but uh, people enjoy uh, that play doing the Titans. They enjoy listening to a person that has also invested a significant amount of time in the game. They want to hear the opinion. They want to hear the, the trials, the tribulations. They want to hear things that that, that player feels is, is good. They want to hear things that that player feels is bad. And, and some of these things you may not have realized are, are good and bad but when you hear a person that has really invested heavily in the game talk about it it, it kind of sheds some light 
on uh, well, that, on stuff. So that's a good one right there. Asking, Kool-Aid says, let me know. I'll get Momo leadership to join sometime via Discord. That'd be really cool because Momo squad. Yeah, def- hey, Kool-Aid. Yeah. How about next Wednesday on the <laughs> hey, Look at this, Bo. Come show. on. Yeah. <laughs> Bo's like, I need yeah. more people lining up here. Come on now. It's all right. That's though. right. I got a wait. I got a wait list now. I got a wait list uh, now. It's still uh, oh, fine in Momo Squad. Oh, uh, so, so now you're going to be like D now. Oh, I see. I see. I mean, you guys are putting out a, a, a significant amount of content. Uh, you know, if you can, and if you can engage uh, new new players and and stuff, it's. I think it's a, it's a good thing actually for the community, and and the community uses uh, would use that um, positively. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. Um, I think we should probably. Uh, I think we should probably do that, Zalon. Yep, I agree. Cause, uh, yep. So Kool Aid, hit me up on Discord. Let's do it. Let's get Momo. Cause I, re- cause dude, Momo Squad was one of those. They've been around longer than Non Toxic. Cause yeah, they were. They've been. They've been they were there. Yeah, I mean, they were one of the the teams when we started, and it's like, oh, look at Momo Squad. There they are again. They're always you there. You don't know so. if the, the same players are there, but the name is definitely no, been there. No, but yeah. yeah, well, I mean, Non-Toxic has went through, you know, Yeah, I mean, generations. True. Generations. it's a constant change, you know? Nobody, yeah. You know, day one and that's it, you know? Yeah, so, it's you know, cool there's... if you could let us vote on who we'd like to no, no. Well, no, a lot no. of times, a lot of times, it's more <laughs> no, like you just have to listen. who's willing and who's available, as opposed to, you know, there's no problem with taking, you know, making a poll in band D and making suggestions about who particular players are that would want to hear. But there's like, it's not like we can rank them. In. Yeah, man. Even like incredibly unpopular like Wednesday, teams, three like, weeks uh, from now, right? Sandy. Like, like P Boz. Like, uh, even though, you know, maybe the majority of the of your fans are not a fan of that particular team, like, don't you think it would be interesting uh, for everybody to hear um, their perspective on the game? No. <laughs> Come on, D, be a team player. Come on now. <laughs> oh, man. I honestly think that that's interesting uh, uh, to me. It can't be toxic. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, but we I would mean, make we sure to, we we always go over that. We let drum on here, don't we? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys. You guys let me on. It's, it's, it's crazy. Vintage is here. What's up, Vintage? Good to see you in the chat. Hey, Vintage. Here's the here's the thing, man. I honestly don't believe that any player is a toxic oh. player. Um, That's not true. No, situations. Um, circumvent certain reactions and then you you label a person as toxic but honestly we're all people man we're all just playing this game for fun just to to cut away from our day-to-day activities and even a team that you might despise um when you hear from uh you know leadership or active players of that community you're gonna realize like oh they're just they're just totally cool dudes just like myself and it, it really puts things in perspective um, and I agree, Drum, most definitely. All right, like like League of Gods, man. They were the most hated team for forever because they just you know dominated everything and whatnot. And then you go and you listen to Soldiers uh, stream with the League of Gods leadership, and you're like, oh, these dudes are just normal yeah. people. They're totally cool, and you know, there's nothing weird going on there. They're not mutants or anything like that. <laughs> it, it puts things in perspective, right? Mutants. What's up, Vintage? Yeah, I have, to, I have no problem Discord. bringing anybody on. Um, you know, it's it's not the reason that we do the streams. Is not just to promote non toxic. It's to oh, promote yeah. the game, and you know, to drive interest in the game. So, Joseph, my uh, Artemis relic setup right now is currently with triple stacking relics. So all you see is my Venom seed. Uh, typically, I would use other um, uh, Panthers armor piercing relics, such as uh, what do what do I have? The banner and the um, uh, what is it? Tainted blade, I think. But uh, four stars. But for the most part, right now, I just uh, have the triple stack on. Uh, King Josh, good to see you. Do, 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 do. Hump day with D NTG should clearly come before Momo visit. Oh, see, mm, I don't know. 
That's that's that, you know what you were what you were just briefly touching yeah. on, on is an interesting uh, interesting topic, man. What are you doing in this event? And if you are getting the Titans, what Titans will you be choosing? Yeah, exactly. Oh, in this yeah. event, and, and and so so oh. D so um, D and Drum and all of the regulars, they're welcome anytime, right? If they don't need an invitation. I just barge in whenever I want. Yeah, see? <laughs> hey, Vintage. Welcome to Discord. Yeah, what's up, Vintage? And <laughs> just barge in whenever you want, yeah. man. And pound on the table and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to, you know, kind of continue with uh, what Drum was saying. You know, what I've been doing is I've been roaming around. Like, I was in Kool-Aid's alliance with the Momo squad. Mm-hmm. Great team, a lot of fun. You know, I, I visited League of Gods. I've you know visited all these alliances, and you know it's, it's just fun, man. You get to meet other people, and you know, like you said, uh, you you have folks on the live stream. You get to hear, you know, what the experience is like from their perspective and so forth. Corey says, "Spoken like a true diva." <laughs> meet and greet would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, totally, man. You know, it's like it's it's a funny game because it, it's it's player versus player, which which makes you uh, almost hate certain alliances. But you know, the live stream can shed some light on on some players of that alliance that you might really have an issue with, and you're like you realize like, oh, these are just normal people that are playing the game like myself, and it it, it sort of puts things in perspective. Yeah. I mean, League of Gods was was perhaps uh, the most hated team for a long period of time, and and Soldier did that live stream where he brought in League of Gods leadership, and you're like, oh, <laughs> these guys are totally cool, and they're they're normal people, <laughs> yeah. and then like it just changed your perspective on what you imagined they were like. I mean, it was it, it, you thought they were misers? Good. They were like they yeah. were like horrible people, <laughs> like Scrooge. Yeah, like they, you know, they're, they're just total nerds. <laughs> They just sit you know, back in their recliner with the phone going, get off my land. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but, you know, you hear them talk and everything. You're like, oh, these, these, they're just normal, chill, chill dudes that you would, would enjoy being on a team with. And, uh, and honestly, that's probably the majority of, of uh, DOT teams is uh, players just like that. But, uh, you know, the, the circumstance... That, that we're up against is, is player versus player, team versus team. So uh, it does bring a, a negative uh, connotation uh, against other teams. So you guys could really, you know, open up the community by featuring, uh, you know, leadership or, or strong players of these uh, assorted uh, teams. I mean, there's, there's plenty to choose from. People want to hear from Jim. They're like, pull down hey, BMT. Jim Belaya. <laughs> oh, I, I, why couldn't I get into stream? What did you, you change my stuff? Oh, you, uh, that, that, that's Bo. That, that that's Bo. That's Bo right there. That's not me. That hurts. That really hurts. What are you talking about? You know I did not, that's, that's not me. I did not do that. This is not my Discord server, Tim. Somebody Jim, changed my can... privileges and I couldn't get in. So I appreciate it. <laughs> we lost our cool pass. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> We're not, we're not with the cool kids anymore. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so we've been triple stacking this time. And, and did I hear this. you say earlier, Boganor, that the Lord is a tier two defender? Are you ah, smoking what? pot? No way, he did not say that. Are you smoking pot? <laughs> okay, so... I, I, <laughs> all right, hey, Bo doesn't play the game. Don't, I'm don't talking play. about... What I'm talking about is like a... So there's Minotaur... Right, and this is we're talking about garrisons, right? Oh, man. Yeah. We're talking. All right, so there's Minotaur, and behind Minotaur would be Valor if you had to rank them. Oh right? no, no. But see that that's where you're wrong. Now, if you have the five star, the new five star Valor from Minotaur. Yes. Okay. Good to know. Noted. <laughs> You just got to be a little excited when you mention I that five-star there, Drew. I just think that we can all agree that Volstan would not be the best choice 
Honestly, yeah. if if he pulled the new five star Guardian Relic on my account, I would probably come back to the game. Oh, <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> now D has a goal. She has a goal now. She has to get it. Wow. <laughs> I would be so excited to have that thing, man, that I would just be going in all day long with that on my defense and just seeing how it worked out. It would, it would honestly be a, a, a big cause of joy. Did you see the new uh, five-star bow of the gods, though? Well, that's no, what I wanted I, to I talk didn't. about next. I wanted to, I wanted to get, the, I wanted to bring this topic up because, especially to get uh, Drum's opinion, since he probably didn't, maybe didn't see it or hear about it yet, is these two yeah, new five stars? Life, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. Drum, sit, sit down if you're not already sitting down. All right. Does somebody, uh, yeah, does somebody yeah, have the stats? Yeah, the, Go ahead. Does somebody have the stats to read off? Your imagination will run wild when you hear what this. Yeah, uh, I, new I got the stats right here. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, let's go. Let's read them off. Okay. The first one's a, a garbage. It's seventy percent Titan damage. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. The next one, forty percent all troop resist against all elements. <laughs> The hell? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the third one. 40% all troops armor piercing. Oh my god. That, that is, sounds ridiculous. And what class is it for? It's for rangers. Oh, it's about yeah. Jesus. And then what? You, know, you know, that sounds absolutely fantastic. That makes me want to get divine gems. That makes me want to pull divine gems. And, and uh, there's been an issue but oh, that no, I, you're I, not getting your count back no uh -oh. <laughs> that I deal with uh, divine gems where you pull and you only get certain five star relics you know this particular five star is a relic that I I do receive when I pull well, so me, it I've makes me feel yes. like like it, it's good it, uh, you know I've been saving your divine gems for you yeah you know, oh. I don't know about all that because I, I got a couple but I'm I sent a uh, uh, a scathing letter into the customer service, not that they do anything. I pulled 18 one-star relics this event. Wow. Uh, God. Gee, what the hell? Good God. Wow. I pulled 18 one-star, five two-stars, and I just pulled a three-star about 10 minutes ago. And you still blame the game? <laughs> so out of 24 pulls, I pulled 18 one-star relics. The game is wow. obviously telling you they don't appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> we have his money. Let him go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. He's paid enough. <laughs> he's paid. He's played enough. <laughs> I have had events. I've had an, one event like that. Um, and over time, it should even itself out. It's just annoying because it's like you expect to get. What do you mean over time? Uh, How much time do you? Uh, 18 yeah. one stars out of 25 pools. What do you, what do you mean over time? What is that? Jim, how many events have you done? Yeah, over, I mean, over yeah. events, over, I've done a lot of events. What are you talking about? He asked me, not you. Okay, you need to pay attention. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Jim, I 100% feel your frustration on that. And, and when things like that happened to me when I was playing the game, it, it made me seriously consider just putting yeah. the game out. Yeah, so typically you should get about the same number of one stars as you do two stars. Hey, Frannick. That's the way the numbers fall. You know, but honestly, one stars are not terrible. What happened was when they changed one stars to only eight uses, as compared yeah. to what they used to be as yeah. 20 that uses, it. that's when one stars really became yes. a very poor relic pull. Because, yes. okay, so what? You're getting a, a smaller soul boost. But you know what? You get to use that relic More 20 time. friggin' times. Time, right. you know? yep. Now they, yeah. they made it crazy eight where everything's eight. And uh, and honestly, the, the value oh. doesn't carry over when you're getting uh, amount of souls for 2,000 gems and uh, and you get eight uses out of it. For, for yeah, 2,000 gems, if you free to play it, you're going to get a lot more uh, souls than than your, uh, your one-star relic. Yeah. Yeah, so I've had the. Uh, them, I would have just bought a bunch of headstones. <laughs> and honestly, why eight, man? Why not ten? Ten is easy math. It's easy for players to understand. <laughs> eight is eight is just weird. You know, it it, it doesn't make sense to the end. So, so it, it, it personally it, it, doesn't it, make sense to me. Because the same reason that they sell hot dogs and hot dog buns in different numbered packs. You're going to have to come up with something a, li a little better than that. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, yeah. they had that's, that's some solid logic. 
Just the eggs on hot water. dogs. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> you get ten hot dogs, but you get eight buns. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, you know there's questionable issues that, that I'm sure we all see on a, a weekly basis. And, uh, you know, well, one thing, I it always, always, always irked me that it was eight uses on a relic. Why not ten? Ten is easy math. I can see what I'm getting. I can, I can do the math off the top of my head without even thinking about it. Eight is is a weird number. You know, you're not, you're not really sure of what your your total souls per relic are. And I mean, maybe maybe there's math leaks out there that are like, what are you talking about? Eight is a piece of cake. But for me, I'm not a smart person, and <laughs> it always seems difficult. <laughs> Well, they, they cut you know they cut it in half. They didn't go to ten. They didn't go to twelve. They went from twenty uses to eight. Yeah, yeah, twenty to eight. You know, if you had a two star, what was that like? I can't remember. What was it sixteen uses? Twenty to sixteen. Oh, oh. Twelve oh. stars were like eight or twelve something? uses. Or, drum, you know, drum. There's something I need drum to know because he didn't watch the dev live stream. You know what they're changing? And I think right. it's I think it's in one three four, but I may be incorrect. It, <clears throat> it may be coming in one three five. I may be wrong. But they mentioned that they're raising the amount of relics you're able to use during forging from four. Oh yeah, yeah. From four to twelve, to twelve yeah. relics at a time. So hey, man, that's great for the people that are actively playing the game. I, I know. I I'm just saying this thing. is something that you've been harping on for quite some time. Yeah, no, that that's good. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm not really I'm not playing the game at all, and uh, from what I've seen from these activity uh she is not at a point with my account where using 12 relics at a time would make any difference at all <laughs> i see the act- are, are you really poor right now there drum yeah the activity is not there but, I mean, we had we had a huge conversation That's actually I'm hey 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 hey, hey. Come on, settle down <laughs> settle down <laughs> settle down <laughs> settle down <laughs> so we had a big conversation this past weekend where she's had my account for numerous weeks. You know how many Titans she's she's leveled to sixty? How many? Zero. You know how many relics she's maxed to I didn't ten? Know that was hey, my job. hey, settle down. <laughs> settle down. <laughs> settle down. <laughs> settle down. You didn't tell me there were Settle down. Uh oh, she's gotta defend herself. What's up, Go Dan? No, Stop it. She'll be okay. You know any how many relics she's maxed to ten? One. Shh. Settle you down. Shut. Settle down. No, you <laughs> Zero. That's how one. many. That's no, one. I don't believe that. Are you serious? Re- what relic? This one right here. Oh, okay, yeah. You believe that? Oh, this one oh, right no, here? She right. doesn't know. Gonna... No. It's the silly one that you wanted me to... No, the do. silly one? I don't remember what it was called. Okay. There who's buying this? The silly relic. That's what <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like we're going to do something good. You sound very hostile. So... Uh, I can't remember what, what we were talking about, no. but bottom line is, <laughs> bottom line is, I gave it the account, and that account is dying slowly. Banner of the Void. Oh, Banner of the Void. Okay, no. yeah. Well, that doesn't do anything. Damn. That doesn't do anything until they finally decide to give a, a decent Void type. It doesn't matter. You didn't tell me that there were expectations. Now that I know that there's expectations. What do you mean expectations? You're gonna come in here and you nothing's got, gonna you be got, done. No, I'm done. no, I'm you, tired. you got a top account, and what do you do with it? I'm teaching you people do nothing. and I'm yeah, You bring it to a slow death. You're like, oh, this account's great. How about I do nothing with it? How oh, about no, you never get it back? Uh-oh. 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 I'm avenging you. You're, you're not doing anything. I'm avenging people you're, that you're, are being bullied. You're, you're killing it. You're doing. You don't level the titans. You don't level the relics. No, I don't. How long do you think this account is going to stay relevant for? I just for? beat a castle. No, you don't beat anything. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Ferenic says, DOT domestic at its best. <laughs> you know I've been revenging bullies. Oh, yeah, you've been revenging bullies. I have. Okay. You know I have. Yeah, so anyway, she's, she's, she's systematically destroying the account. <laughs> John says, oh my God, I love D and Drum. See, you guys have such good big fans. <laughs> And John hasn't posted anything in this stream up until now, so I'm just mentioning these people are coming out of the woodwork for you guys. 
you, you can't even give her a golden account, you know, because she's just going to take it. She's just going to free to play it and not continue to progress it. And honestly, if you want to be on a high level with Donut Heights, man, you got to be on your stuff, man. You got to be leveling the latest relics. You got to be leveling the latest Titans. Titans have a small shelf span, maybe three to four months outside of uh, outside of summoning Titans. Like you have to be on that ball, man. You think Sobek's good? Yeah, Sobek is good. He's good right now. But you know, four months from now, Sobek is going to be trash. So you, know you know, if you if you're you're taking your time, you're leveling. Yeah, Sobek. you don't know that. You know, well, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm just predicting based yeah, on. I'm just, just kidding. Good. I'm if just you're kidding. planning on leveling your Sobek by December, at December, he's not going to be anything, man. He's not even going to be a good land defender. But right now, with the proper relics, he's an absolute beast. So, you know, what, what she doesn't understand, and what I can't make her understand, is that you need to stay on top of, uh, if you have a good account, you need to stay on top of your good account to continue to make it a good First account. Off, look into my eyes. No, I'm not. Because no, you're not even no, making eye I'm contact. I'm not looking. I'm not. No. <laughs> you know why I've been so busy? Because you were supposed to take one of the crowns. Like, Pretty, I've quit DOT weeks ago. <laughs> Don't judge me. You judge. You judge. You, judge. <laughs> you have been judged. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. You, have been you, know, you can't even give her a, the golden glove. You know why? Because she's just going to take it off. This is why we don't have guests on the show. Yeah. Make no. <laughs> <laughs> no one's even defending me. Thanks, guys. Yeah, because they see what you're doing. This uh, see, now. even Vintage Bye. put himself on mute. He's like, this is too yeah. good. He's, this <laughs> He's is like, too I'm good. Done. He's crazy. <laughs> Dee does an awesome job at what she does. I don't know if you could keep an account 100% relative and do everything else D does. Thank you. Because I know she spends as much time doing alliance management as she does playing. No, no. Dude, she Probably does more. Way more time in alliance <laughs> management than she does playing. <laughs> but she loves it. If, yeah. She loves if it, though. If it was a 50-50, she'd probably be a lot better off than she is. Corey says, "Sounds like an episode of Cops." Bad boys, yeah, honestly, bad boys. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little outside the box you here, guys, not. and I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Dot does cause issues in our household, <laughs> and uh, and it's not me causing the issues. That's not a surprise. Uh, it's it's her that is just committed to the phone. Uh, non-stop, 24-7. She actually uh, walks around daily with four devices. <laughs> wait a second. Cows. Wait a second. Wait a second. You can't, you, you're telling me she walks around with four devices on her? All the time. Four <laughs> devices. It's, wow. it's unbelievable. Wow. Four devices. Do they all have the same charger? <laughs> Listen, do they all have the same charger? Do they all have the same charger? Or yeah. No? She carries around this like brick that can charge her phones. <laughs> And you at least two at a time are connected to it. So, so, anyway, wow. she, you know, all every day she has four accounts going, and uh, it it actually does cause uh, issues in our household, and more so ever that I that I don't play DOT anymore because no matter where we are or or what we're doing, we're constantly waiting on her to send the next message or to grab that VP land or to answer a player that's not hitting their minimums. Like it's, it's, it's unbelievable. That's me. How much, uh, She's I'm, messaging me. <laughs> oh, you're, are you kidding me? Yeah. I know it's just, exactly how much. I, he, yes, just draw, but I have to send Zalan his message. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you what Zalan's VP is. Every single Saturday, even though I don't even play the game. Because <laughs> Zalon also knows what it is, and he doesn't need to be reminded. Right, Zalon? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, man, well, you know, she, she does an abnormal amount of work, and honestly, I, I don't think that NTG could run uh, the way it does as, as successful as it has been without the work that she puts in. But it, Oh, absolutely. It, it is uh, definitely over the top. 
Well, it, 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 and that's the way D works because remember, that's what she does when yeah. she's at her job. She has to be over the top. Well, so when you, and when she's so Italian, short, you have to go over and the she's top Italian too. So she has, she can't see. So you since tiny player, you, yeah, so she's Italian. So that doesn't matter. They, they have to go over the top. Oh, my close now, tiny player. <laughs> <laughs> Really? J- Jason saying D is awesome. This admin stuff management is so hard. Oh, man. You, you don't even know. I mean, honestly, anybody that's not in oh, leadership. I think you, Jason is aging. Okay. Yeah. Anybody that's not in leadership, you I absolutely have no idea how much work it, it takes to be a <laughs> well, successful wrote, leader. Me about her, and I'm impressed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's got charts, man. She Congrats. can tell you. You know, you want you want to be on an event team in NTG? Well, guess what? She's got your event record going on on her chart. She can say, you know what? Yeah. You you only finish one event uh, every two months. Your souls are not what we need. I'm sorry, you can't be on NTG's event team. I mean, the, the data is absolutely un- unbelievable. But, but but honestly, the data comes at a cost because she's spending. You know, numerous hours sitting behind a computer uh, on Sundays every single week, entering <laughs> everybody's data. You know, you're on an FG team. Well, guess what? You have been documented. We know what big you got. Big sister is watching. Yeah, got. big sister is watching. That's right. Yeah, you've been documented. And and and, and we have trends over time. There's actually a <laughs> graph that that show a line graph that shows. How productive or deproductive you've been when you click on each member? Like you are, you don't even know the depths of what this so, leadership has uh, if accomplished. You would, I mean, if it, you've ever crazy. played on an NTG team and you would like your your chart information, please message D in game. Yeah. yeah, how do we request our player information, D? <laughs> yeah, message her. I'm sure she'll send you a pic. Like she's gonna send you line graphs. Jesus. Mine's just a, mine's just like a oh, mine's oh, like a, a straight line and then like a jump and then a dive and another straight line. Oh, you don't even know. Like you, you look at her and she's not getting crazy. No, no crap. That's because she's spending about five plus hours a week entering in data for every single player on the NTG team. And uh, I have one of my office, one of my crowns, working on. Um, like a text recognition program so that I may not have to do this anymore. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It is over the top. Like, you know, nobody on an NTG team is, is getting past her. That's right. It's like, oh, you want to be on NTG uh, him? Event team? I'm sorry. You haven't event in you haven't, three months. You haven't qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Your average souls over the past two months is 1,500. You just don't make it anymore. I have to demote you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dude, I never should have showed you my chart. It's nuts, man. You don't even know. Aren't you, know. you impressed, though? Oh, yeah. It's, awesome it's impressive. Data. Isn't that good you know? data? Just, uh, I live with this. I live with this. <laughs> I live with this. And I just mm. see it going down. I'm like, oh, my God, you're crazy. <laughs> So, oh, FL Rebel said, I have checked out players that use D for reference. She knows more info on them than I needed. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, yeah, man. It's very, it's very uh, I mean, honestly, I, I would be uh, hard pressed to find a leader that is more informed of their players than, than D. So, and, uh, so what and if. I'm speaking from a person who's been on, on top teams in the game so, and. Uh, and when I was on League of Gods, we did have a player that that documented everything about each player, and you could see trends over time. But uh, that's how I got the idea. But I, I don't think it's as as solid. As, uh, Mine's way better. Lord Jesus is uh, putting out. <laughs> yes, Chiro is asking anyone streaming this weekend. Well, um, Jim. I gotta go. Bye. No, see Jim. Ya. Uh, Bo. Is anybody else? Oh, Bo, I know you're probably not going to stream. Unless Bo wants to do a, uh, it would be crazy if Bo did a uh, Saturday morning grind to Copus because I don't have one to stream. <laughs> but that would be, maybe Deezus will stream. You have to talk to her. 
Yeah, Jesus, you better stream too. And Jim and Val, you better stream too because this was supposed to be your Conquest weekend, so you better be streaming. No, Conquest ain't going on, is it? Well, it doesn't matter. Well, I just want us to stream. Well, it does. Time. Uh, oh, I'm streaming right now. I'm putting my time in. Why don't you tell me why Conquest isn't going on? Since they advertise it two weeks in a row. Mm. Jimothy and Val are weak sauce. Uh, they're not. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's because, well, listen, Val's going to check with D and see what your uh, what your rap sheet with NTG was when you were here, and she's going to find out the real deal, Jim. So you better. Oh, I don't uh, care. Val, <laughs> Val, I don't Val care. doesn't stream with D anymore. She's just straight up Jimothy. Players, so mm. you know, and if them ain't going, then uh, then you're not gonna hear from that. <laughs> well, I've just said. I've just been really busy, so yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Me and I will tell her um, Jim's track record. And how do you think your team feels about that, Jim? Oh, I still get my VP. No, that's not what they're talking about. They want they want to hear from you, it's Jimothy. Like they do. They do. <laughs> They want to hear from you, Jim. You should definitely. Old man, Jim. You should definitely stream. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. You hey. see that? That's why Jim put his profile pic on here. He wants you to. He wants that you to see down. that he's not old. See, Corey says. Right. You see that pic? I ain't old. Come on now. Corey I says. Right there. Yeah, Corey says. D better stream. We need more. See. And then Jason hey, says, man, I try and get D to stream. Oh, you're such a liar. I try. She yeah. is a tough nut to crack. <laughs> so I think JJ is streaming? Really, Jason? <coughs> Interesting. There is somebody in Legends right now that is that their name is Jason Jerome, but I swear that that is not the same player as JJ. But that's because I, at one point. J no. There's a JJ, and then there's a Rome. Jason Rome is our JJ. The other JJ is another JJ. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, That's, come on. Really? <laughs> I thought that was the case, but see, there was a point where I swear that I was in a stream, and JJ was on the stream with me, and I was like, who's this guy? And he's like, oh, there's an imposter. So. Yeah, so Jason Rome is JJ, and then there's an NTG JJ, which is a different player. Look at the castles. Okay. Well, I haven't seen the NTG JJ's castle, so give me a break, D. Jeez. I know. You're like, oh, I have them all charted out. I already know. I know. Well, because I got confused, too, by it, and then I looked at the castles, and I put it out. So JJ is in them. Legends now, right now. They're both in Legends. Jason Jerome is a ton of fun as a, I know. a person. I want to him. And uh, it's, it's unfortunate he's not so active on YouTube. Like because he was just he was just a really enjoyable person in in real life. Yeah, we time. Exactly. So that's he why he is a hoot. Yeah, he is a hoot. Well, and that's <laughs> the thing. I'll tell you when um, it's when I saw his name pop up in the in Legends, I was like, oh man, JJ. And that'd be nice. That'd be nice to 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 hear from JJ. So I hope he does stream. Yeah, I mean, is he still playing? I mean, you see He's how in Legends. Uh, Thing here and there. But. In Legends, top 100. <laughs> yeah, Vintage is still on mute. He's still here, though, Corey. Vintage needs to come on back. Yeah, drums done ranting. <laughs> Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. <clears throat> As you're bullying garrisons, that's what happens, Jim. You just hear that in the background. <laughs> good, good. good. <laughs> the force is strong in this one. Yeah, the dark side. <laughs> For, uh, oh, the Frost Guardian? Uh, oh, what? I wonder what happened to the first Frost Guardian. Well, I mean... Avalos, Avalos just got like, well, he just got really crappy skills. Everyone preferred the first one. Um, hey, man, you know, that, you know, you, you bring up uh, uh, a valid point. People uh, like to romanticize about Avalos before the change where he had Grenadiers, uh, X-Skills, and uh, Imperials. 
X skills, right? They're like, oh, oh, Avalos is amazing. Yo, wait, what? how did they say it, Drum? <laughs> they said, old Apple is amazing. <laughs> 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 you know? Okay, straight up. Old Apple was not amazing. He actually sucked nine times out of ten. You want to know why? Because the scales are random, just like any other friggin' Titan. And uh, and the chances of you getting a decent Apple was so <laughs> slim that they decided to make uh, a new Apple with X skills, like guaranteed uh, X skills offense for Grenadiers and guaranteed defensive X skills for uh, Imperials. And and players were actually excited about this change when he first came out because it was so much better than the crap that you would pull on a previous Avalos. Now, that being said, the people that are romanticizing about old Nobody school... Nobody romanticizes about DOT. That, no, stop it. They do. The people that are <laughs> romanticizing about old school Avalos being good are the people that had that that one percent chance at a good roll, and uh, and that was so slim and uh, and so circumstantial uh, based on the the current meta uh, of the game. That uh, honestly, old school Avalos was not good, man. He's he's equivalent to a a. Uh, what the hell is that guy's name, man? The Panther uh, Guardian? What? Matano. Matano, exactly. There's it's vintage. A Matano. <laughs> Go on. So I got the old school Avalos. I I, re- I have a really good roll on it, and good again when the five star relic came out. Hmm. Yeah. So suddenly he he's back in the game because you got the the fifty percent. Uh, boost to ranged uh, and uh, and melee, and you add those two nice. Uh, what is the third skill on that relic? I actually have no What's idea. The five star. Uh, it's uh, Titan resist all damage, just like the first piece of junk, and then it's oh, uh, okay. yeah, tr- that's the yeah troops uh, resist ranged and melee. Yeah, you know what, man? It is uh, you know. I, honestly, I was thinking about. These five star relics, like, what the hell was the Donut Titans team thinking when they released this new relic? Every previous five star had a 24% resist to, you know, let's say melee or ranged, and uh, and only one, and only 24%. And they're like, oh, here's the new Guardian relic. These things already boost. Uh, defensive stats of troops. Let's give it fifty percent resist to, to melee and fifty percent resist to range. Like, what the hell is going on at this company when they think this is a good balanced idea? Yeah, I think I think it's the classic DOT overcorrection, where they're like, okay, yeah, offense is preposterously beyond- overpowered, so we're gonna you know snap back in the opposite direction. Instead of fixing the tr- troop balance, let's put a Band-Aid on it and just make some idiotic defensive relic. Yeah, but it's not even a Band-Aid because it, it, only a select uh, player uh, gets to pull this particular relic. And why not make it 24% resist range and 24% resist melee? I mean, they just completely uh, just dwarfed every single other five-star relic in the game with this with this release i mean it's like it's nonsensical uh, and actually you'll, you'd be shocked you know i've done a lot of testing with uh valorn and the new five star and the troops are still so out of whack valorn with the new five star still loses wow man that's, that is something Basically, all you can hope for have the right roll on on Valorn, and then you put on the the right relics. You can set up Valorn to be a, a certifiable coin flip. Well, not quite. The native resists. You know, with the five star, you can leverage that, and where the defense will win against those three elements. But then you have the other four elements. You're totally naked to. What's up, Black Hustler? Corey says, I found an old-school Avalos last week. 
with my level 59 Zeus and failed, so did my teammate with the Dionysus. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, man. Well, you know, the, the thing with the old school Avalos, they they are selectively good. I mean... <laughs> you had, you had to hit the lottery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's a lottery. You know, the, I had an old school Avalos, 100% uh, Titan Resist uh, and 100% Lightning. And 100% physical resist. If you attack me with with just a Titan or or those two uh, elements, you would lose uh, probably 100% of the time. But outside of that, it was very beatable. Uh, classic Skolnar was that way too. I, I got a handful of Skolnar, uh, you know, the first few months after global launch. And man, I I had brutal brutal rolls on my Skolnars. No joke, I still have it actually. Yeah, just as proof. I have a I have a triple poison <laughs> and double resist um, melee. <laughs> Ooh. I thought it's my just junk. I thought my double. I seen that one of your videos, man. That's that's impressive. You still have it. I was going to say, I think yeah, I have a double ice resist one that's not too great. So, Yeah, it, yeah, that's the skill rolls they used to have. All they had to do was make it so you couldn't get duplicate skills, and then it's fine. They didn't have to change anything else, but no. <laughs> we had to wait until like Valorn. Like always, instead of doing the logical thing, they do some convoluted idiotic crap. We had to wait until Valorn to finally get something like that. You know, Valorn, speaking of Valorn, like, why the heck do we not have a Minotaur version of Valorn? Why don't we have an, uh, an Avalos version of Valorn? Why don't we have a... Well, that uh, could be what we see. A Skolnar version of Valorn. Like, I mean, honestly, like, well, I guess we do have a, a Skolnar version of Valorn, kind of with, uh, with Urkon, but man, might- it just shocks me. Well, that's what the it the Ice Guardian that comes out most likely will be similar to Valorn. That's what I think. The one that they keep yeah, on talking you know about. But you know that that sounds cool and all, but straight up, I do not want an Ice Guardian uh, with uh, defensive skills for my Imperials. You know what I want? I want an all-out balls to the wall offensive Ice uh, uh, Titan. Like, give me something with uh, armor piercing. Give me something with damage. Uh, give me something with uh, some sort of offensive uh, thing. Like, like you know, you have uh, you have uh, the new. Uh, Talos is pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But but Talos is not really that good in comparison to the skills that they've given for this particular troop. Uh, uh, or actually, in comparison to other troops that they've given skills to. I mean, they're still leaving Imperials in the dust, man. Like, the best you can hope for is one offensive X skill for your Imperials. I mean, that that's pretty whack. I've, I've been saying that for a very, very long time. And finally, when the new uh, Italis came, then I was able to actually say we have precisely one relevant Imperial Titan. Yeah. You know what? Uh, D was uh, was doing the uh, the Titan fusions on uh, on Monday, right? That was the Titan fusion event, mm-hmm. and uh, my uh, Italis were complete garbage. I had one that was double damage against Titans, and then I had one that had a single damage against Titan skill, mm-hmm. which uh, to me uh, it's just total junk. I, I saved the one with the single damage against Titan skill, just in, uh, just in case they changed it. In just in case it became relevant, and uh, and she was like, "Oh, we should upgrade this thing because when they drop the new update, you know, it's gonna be good." You know what I said? I said, "No, we are not going to update this Titan." You want to know why? Because if you spend your resources on updating this friggin' Titan, you know, a week later, two weeks later, they're gonna drop a brand new Imperial summoning Titan that is just gonna crap all over this thing because Dawn of Titans takes a year and a day to update old crap and when they do update it it's already irrelevant 
This is true in a lot of cases. Yeah, man. So even though that the Italis that I saved and didn't fuse away might be relevant when they update the skills, like, hey, man, it, the, the Italis has been been a thing for months now, and uh, and you haven't changed any friggin' thing. You've just allowed it to be the way it is, and now you're going to update the skills, what, in October? And, oh, all of a sudden, uh, damage inside is not a thing. It's just damage. But guess what? Yeah, You know, the second week in October, you drop the brand new Ice Summoning Titan that just craps all over the Satella. So it's it's uh, it's wasted money. It's wasted resources and everything to, to invest in this Titan that should have been fixed months ago, man. Like, I'm... Uh, I played this new game, uh, Rain Shadow Legends. These fucking people. I'm sorry, I'm in the curse. These people that run the game, they're they're rebalancing uh, Titans all the time, man. Every other week, uh, it's like, oh, this Titan's not so good. Boom, we've just we've adjusted these skills, and now it should be more in line. Even if they're not more in line, like it's it's a constant uh, balancing effect where they're trying to make. All uh, champions, they call them champions and titans. They're trying to make all champions relevant in the game. Whereas doing the titans, man, you're going to have a crap uh, thing. Like you, you roll double damage against titans. Like, guess what? That thing's going to sit in your titan hall four <laughs> months before they get around to adjusting the skill roll for that where it might be usable. And by the time they adjust it where it's going to be usable, they're going to drop something uh, brand new that's going to be way better than investing your resources in that particular time. That is, saved his or yeah, that is one thing about uh, about uh, doing times that just irks me to the core. The fact that that support uh. is just absolutely terrible, and uh, and updates to the game are like you know what four times a year. I well, mean, you don't play anymore. Deal with any of this. Okay, but still, uh, I played the game. I but it's in his household. Years, it's in his household, going. though. It's in his household. <laughs> I, uh, that's been one of the problems I've had with what they do really since I started playing is do play a lot, a lot of other online games and MOBAs and, you know, one V ones. And I mean, everything all of those games that are successful are constantly tuning things to find balance. And if something's getting grossly underused, give it a little tune-up and i have no clue why these potatoes in the balance department never ever touch the 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 troop stats it's unbelievable since since i started playing i think they've changed troop stats maybe three times it's just it's insanity yeah man i mean what, what you're really looking at is a bunch of project managers as compared to developers. The developers have left the game a long time ago, and you just have project managers uh, right now just trying to maximize profit. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's talk about the, the Relic space. Like, they had to bring in an outside person in order to fix the Relic space because they did not have the know-how or the knowledge to do it themselves. I mean, that, that's where we're at in the game. Like, well, how they fixed archers and they had like something now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They missed. The <laughs> yeah, I think they really just. Yeah. Yeah. All they know how to do is, you know, they're they're taking previous uh, titans. They're they're just adjusting the artwork on them, like, uh, and they're releasing them as as new events. That's it. They know how to uh, change the skills. They don't even change the skills properly because when you look at the event, it'll be, uh, let's just say, um, Ilzar, right? And uh, let's say the last skill buffs uh, Spearman Health or Spearman uh, Armor. And uh, when you look at the picture of the skill, it'll be like, uh, you know, Grenadine skill. That's not that's not actual uh, what's going on. But, but the fact is they can't even adjust the artwork properly for the events that they're charging you, you know, $100 plus dollars for. I mean, the the developers uh, are long gone. The game has been de- developed years ago. Now you just have a handful of project managers 
which are really doing a very oh and job. And, well, and graphic designers yeah. well and the graphic the, all the graphics people you have to remember there's still there's still a huge art department yeah there's a huge art department but guess what they're using previous um, uh, previous not sure what the word is uh, yeah. templates yeah previous templates for their new art oh yeah like Minotaur <laughs> Yeah, okay, exactly, like Minotaur. Every tar that comes after that is on the same exact template. He has the same exact uh, uh, motions in battle, uh, yada, yada, yada. All they're doing is like, oh, this guy's got, you know, uh, ice horns. This guy's got poison well, horns. And, 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 we'll see, and, and we will see, too, when uh, the new uh, Egyptian god comes out, how similar it's going to be to Sobek and to Ra. So. Yeah, I mean, whatever it is, if he's the champion, he's going to behave as the champion did because he's based on the exact same uh, model for champions. If he's, a, if he's a guardian, the same thing. If he's a berserker, same thing. If he's a infiltrator, same thing. They're going to react the exact same way because they're not designing new model. All they're doing is just throwing some fancy uh, artwork over the top of it. You know, uh, so, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to disagree with most of that, but I'm going to disagree with the whole balance thing. All they have to do is get a half a dozen experienced players that are active and say, heck, and then they make recommendations. Oh, all we have to do is maybe take Star Maidens, take their base damage and turn it down 10%. We'll give it a few weeks and see what happens. I mean, that's not hard. That is not hard. The way they make a but challenge, it's all hard to do. I mean, you, you, you're talking about a company that is actively involved in their player base. That is putting stuff out there and receiving feedback and, and making adjustments based on the feedback. And unfortunately... That is not what Dawn Titans is is doing. I, yeah, it is unfortunate because it would be so easy to set up, so easy to implement, and I, I have no idea what the what the what the hesitation is. Hmm. Honestly, I, I think that they have moved the developers and the majority of the team working on this game to another project. I mean, Star Wars is a big thing now for uh, natural motions. And I think Dawn of Titans is not a priority. Uh, there's just doing enough to continue to maximize profit of the players that are still playing the game. And uh, I think that's where it stands. They're not investing new resources. They're not really trying to change the ball. They've got a, they've got a system they feel is working, and, and they're going to work that system until it no longer uh, gives them the profits that they need to see. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I was hoping with the third year anniversary coming up, I was thinking about having a whole video series, you know, where if you actually spent more than 58 cents a week on marketing, then, and then what I wanted to do was uh, have a video series on how to to hurry players into the mid-game. All right, I'm mm. in the game that's you know, cool. I can I can war. I can you know really get into the game. Make sure Godan's not listening. Godan, I hope you're not here. He might he might steal your ideas. Yeah. No, don't worry, don't worry. He won't. He won't. Hey, he, he won't. Oh no, no, no I, I just thought you meant he was going to disagree with this. No, 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 no. He's not going to disagree. Totally he, he would definitely with. try to make a series, though. You never know. You never know. It's okay, though. <laughs> you, you need to rush players in the mid game. You need to rush players in the end game. Or at least give them a path to get to that point relatively quickly. I mean, we're we're losing players uh, nonstop. I mean, it's down twenty five percent players since the last. One. So uh, I'm not sure how long they can continue uh, with what they're doing and uh, still manage to keep the game up and running. But uh, but they're not bringing new players into the game. And if they are, the new players have such a long grind to get to the end game. That the end game is suffering. Uh, right. So, so drum. Uh, just want to answer this question for Karthik in the chat. Which Titan is better, Artemis or Poseidon? Uh, I would choose Artemis, and I think a lot of others would do, would choose as well. 
Um, hopefully you have some yeah. good Panther relics to attack Panther relics that can help you out with your Artemis. And also uh, uh, another uh, uh, another Panther resist relic to maximize the resist that you get. So, yeah. Yeah, man, based on the current meta, uh, meta, meta, whatever, uh, Artemis is uh, hands down the Titan that you would want to choose. Uh, Poseidon is awesome. He is no slouch, without a doubt, but he is not an Artemis uh, when it comes to taking down castles. That's because yeah. girls are cruel. Artemis, Artemis has a higher ceiling. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been playing with her the entire time too, so hopefully everybody's got that ingrained in their in their memory. <laughs> that just didn't even sound right, bro. No. Get your mind out of the gutter, Jim. Yeah, we'll see. I'm putting you in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Oh yeah, see. <laughs> I was like, I can turn this around on you. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like what what back in the day, Jim, would you get suspended from school and you're like, all oh, right, a few days off from school. <laughs> I love you, teacher. Right. Uh, so I'm going to grind out for a little bit longer. Probably, well, this will probably be the last triple set. I'll probably just go on two stars because I have an abundance of two star relics after this. But I definitely went through at least five sets of triple stacks. So that's, uh, it sounds like I had a lot of burgers if we're talking Wendy's terms, like Bo was talking about earlier. So, does anyone have iOS have the update yet? Oh, you know, no. I, I didn't even check if I had the update on here. <laughs> You know, the, the thing with the updates, Jim, uh, regardless of your iOS or your uh, Android, uh, the updates on. won't be live until they decide to turn them on. So uh, getting right. the update on iOS right now is, is not going to be anything meaningful until they decide to flip the switch. So, uh, okay, that- and there's also a public service announcement that needs to be made tied to this. If you play this game on multiple devices one of them and the update's not available on the other devices yet Fuck yourself on one device until it's available on the on the others yeah because it does it's that personal it does seem to be device oriented because they even kind of alluded to that on the last live stream as well because i installed the update on my phone once and it basically disabled my tablets for, for like two or three weeks. Oh, wow. Eating pickles? <laughs> Is that what's going on now? Is that what's going on in the Dean Drum he household? He polio string cheese like 10 minutes ago. Dude, and now why are we talking about pickles? He's eating pickles because he went behind me and I heard noise and I thought he was putting whipped cream in his mouth and he's eating pickles and now another string cheese it's yeah. bedtime drum is the man that's what i'd be having too right now actually i got pickles in the fridge too i think drum might be pregnant and string cheese. i don't have any string pickles cheese and whipped cream. <laughs> pickles and whipped cream yeah i just finished a banana split and he's eating pickles and polio string cheese yeah well string cheese is the best and polio is good as well it's good for you <laughs> thank you Zalon. thank yeah, you it is <laughs> It strings up real good. I what can you say? Um, yeah, Kool Aid says at drum agree. I've been playing solid for two years plus, but feel punished because most troops are only level twenty two. Been upgrading nonstop since start. Yeah, I agreed there on on how long it takes to upgrade your troops. I'll just do a quick slider on mine. I am still working. I'm Castle 24, and I still have a few at 22 that need to be 23 very shortly before. I, I, I'm not able to do the uh, uh, upgrade buildings yet just because of gold situation. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. So I almost have most of those buildings built, and I will be able to upgrade uh, my important troops like Storm Maidens, Goliaths, and Spearmen uh, up to 24. Yeah, man. Even with that, 
like they they've decided to drag out the uh, the void uh, troops so long uh, that a lot of players have lost interest. I mean, myself, I stopped playing, and my uh, void troops have been maxed for for months now. Like <laughs> I'm not even interested. Did you straight gem them instantly, <laughs> though? Did you gem them instantly? No, I I was aggressive at, at leveling them, uh, but I didn't gem them instantly. I did gem them uh, just a small amount after I maxed my uh, Artemis to sixty, just to see what they could do, and uh, and uh, I was very unhappy with the result of, of what they can do at that point in time. But uh, other other, I mean, honestly, we can only talk about Storm. That's the only other troop that they've added to this game, right? Well, Goliath came out. I want to say like right before global launch. Was that correct, Vintage? That's that's prior prior to launch, though. So essentially, the only troop that's ever been released uh, since the game has started has been Storm Mins, and they came out with Storm Mins just balls to the wall. You know, <laughs> X skill arm piercing, X skill damage. If you were likely to roll that. Well, yeah. But, uh, well, man, and th well, you had Titans like what, like Thorhild. And who else? Who else was the real good lightning, yeah, lightning all, titans? All the Viking titans. Yeah, if the, you got good potential. rolls, if you got good rolls, yeah. had the potential to be boss level. Uh, but man, with this with this void thing, they've they've just uh, they've ruined it because they've they've taken way too long. And uh, there is numerous um, players that that I'm familiar with that have just lost interest in the game uh, over the the course of time of them releasing anything that's actually usable with a with a void troop. I mean, like, what, what why don't we tell Halloween or something like that before they release a, uh, uh, void, a void Titan that can actually do something? <laughs> you know? I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. They're just like, they, they've taken too long, and me personally, I've lost interest. I mean, uh, based on my raid uh, Shadow Legends uh, clan that I have going on, like there is also twenty plus um, spenders in DOT that have lost. In it's like ah, oh, forget this game. So it's like uh, transitional. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on on a management level with DOT, but they mm. they are losing without a doubt. I know they miss you. You're gonna get a you're gonna uh, get a card in the mail for the it, they're at in, uh, at the three year anniversary. We miss Dude, you, we they, miss don't, they don't miss me at all. And I'm going to give you just one particular example of why they don't miss you, okay? Why? I used to be a uh, a VIP player, okay? I've never done anything that made me VIP. I've never been sent an email like others that made me VIP. But they used to run the uh, – it was almost monthly, the almost monthly – specials where it's like oh you did you know uh, a battle 10 days in a row blah 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 you got you know uh, a couple thousand gems in your account yada 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 right i'm mm -hmm. sure we're all or most of us are all familiar with this sort of thing right yes yep. the last Wait, time who said no they... i said huh? yep oh okay okay the last time they ran a vip uh, special where you had to battle 10 days in a row or something like that to get, you know, uh, a bonus amount of gems. Uh, I did not receive those gems and I messaged them and they told me I was no longer a VIP player. Now, keep in mind, my spending did not decrease. If anything, it only increased over this point in time, but they've decided that I was not a VIP uh, player. And uh, and uh, I was no longer eligible to receive the the uh, bonus gems from these battle rewards. Now, new players are not seeing this VIP thing at all. No matter how much money you spend, it's a, it's it's really a, it's a, a thing of the past. And uh, I was going to say, even the last time we did the uh, you know the the ten battle streak thing. I think for me it was like last Christmas. I mean, we're talking yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. I don't think there is a VIP program anymore, guys. Yeah, yeah. I don't either. And, and 
And that goes hand in hand with the fact that they've moved the developers to another game. What you're looking at right now is project managers trying to maximize profits before the game tanks. Are you trying to make people cry? No, I'm not. No, I'm not just <laughs> Are trying you gonna to make... cry, D? <laughs> Maybe. It's just, it's just being real. Like, like, listen, man, if you're a player on a war team right now, you're, you're an NTG war, and you're thinking you want to throw down 100 bills on this particular event, and the next good event, you can throw down another 100 bills, et cetera, et cetera. Well, maybe it's not the best idea, because next year, this game might not be around, because the people that are running this game are not advertising, they're not bringing new players into the game, and honestly, they're just trying to maximize profit off of the players that are already hooked on the game and that's it and eventually the players that are hooked on the game are going to just feel burned and they're be like oh man forget this and uh except i'm a perfect example man I Yo, as long as they keep years. the game up as long enough so i can reach castle 25 and max out that's all i want to do man i want to max out and get all my stuff maxed out because i've never done that in a mobile game and i know i can Without yeah. gemming it. Well, here, Without gemming it like yeah. a crazy person. Here's the thing, man. Uh, you can do that uh, until the point when they allow, uh, when, when they stop deregulating Dawn and Titans. And eventually that's going to happen. And you know what will happen when they stop deregulating Dawn and Titans? Hackers are going to reign supreme. <laughs> Every week in Legends League, you're going to have a team with a single hacker that does, you know, one billion... Uh, Why BP would they stop doing that? Or, what, or, stop or for the event, there's going to be one billion. What do you mean? Why would they stop? They're going to stop because they're not going to apply uh, their resources to DOT. They're going to have moved on to the Star Wars game or they're going to have moved on to some other game. And, and they're all about maximizing profit. Yeah, but the game is set up in a fashion where they can never stop. DOT 2.0. I get you what you're saying. They can never stop <laughs> doing stuff for the game because if they don't do the live streams and they don't do events and they don't mm. uh, take the hackers out, What then there is no game. Then it just stops. No, the game will continue, oh. but it will continue differently than what you know no. of DOT. No. Listen, player base is down 25% from last. Okay? If we go through... An, if you paid any attention to this game at all, uh, in the springtime, every single year, they have a meeting of all their investors, and uh, and they talk about their investments. DOT is an investment for the investors, and uh, previous investments have been positive for DOT. Last investment last year, they said like, "Oh, it's not forming as we expected." What do you think that call is going to be like? This year, or, or this, or next year in January, when they're looking at DOT, they're probably going to say we're going to stop uh, supporting this game, and, and they're going to allow it to run out for the rest of the year, and that's it. And then once they stop supporting the game, hackers are going to run wild, and and you're no longer going to be able to compete for anything because you want to compete for first. Oh, too bad, some dude with a level two mini. Has gotten you know five hundred million BP and they've taken first. Then they might as well just turn it off then, not not support. But they it. won't do that. You don't know. Well, I I believe there's a certain point that they're just gonna would say, all right, we're gonna close it down. I, that's happened with many games, so you know that does eventually happen with a lot of different <laughs> setups. Now, yeah, but, but but don't you agree? That next year, there's a good possibility where they say that, like, this is the last year of DOT. If anything, I think there's if, at least I think there's at least two left. If anything, uh, see, you'll, I, not, I, I you'll notice that. a major decline. Like, what'll happen? If anything, I believe the they'll stop supporting. They'll stop. What's it called? Doing the dev live streams. I believe that'll be one of the things that'll be an easy telltale sign if things are are going downhill. Besides from that, though, too. Uh, continuing to monitor solo events to see exactly how many people are playing and constantly monitoring that. And it still continuously fluctuates between 40 and 60,000 all the time. 
So I, you know, I've yet to see it dip below 40,000 at any given time. And I'm still kind of keeping an eye on that just to make sure I, I, I have a, a, a pretty good idea of where it's at. But, you know, I, it still has life in it. They wouldn't be doing exactly what they've been doing with these updates recently if this was going to be like, oh, you know, January or February, this is it. We're wrapping the show up. So, from my opinion, yeah, well, you know, my opinion, that's the way it is. Avengers, and their their job is to maximize profit. So, whatever is going to maximize their profit until they decide to stop investing money is what you're going to see these project managers do. Yeah. Well, one way or another... The main team of developers that work at Zenga go from major project, go from developer to developer. So yes, if you want to say that there's a main core that might have it's not there anymore, well then yes, that's that is the case. But there is people in every department except for marketing. I swear, there's an empty chair there. But uh, I believe yes, there's still people in every department that is basically holding up the framework of the game. And everybody else is obviously concerned about money because that's what business is all about. So at the, they all still want to continue to get paid if they continue to downsize the staff to the point where it makes it so that they can barely keep it alive. Then that'll be a very quick end. So, I mean, it just depends on exactly how the decisions they make in the game. For instance, how they go about the next few months and in, in in releasing these next few updates could either make or break things. You know, it could make it for 2020 as still a very legitimate year, like Bo was saying, making it so 2021 is more of a slowdown to like the end of the game, or it could be. A little, it could be sooner just because what they do in the next few months doesn't work out and they continue to not market. Which, again, over the time period, especially with Thanksgiving, the U.S. holiday, of course, and Christmas, a world holiday, international holiday, those both will actually help feed into uh, players actually being introduced to the game because I, I got hooked in December. And it was a time when I had a lot of availability. So when it comes down to them capitalizing on, on those events, and of course the last two Christmases have been total, you know, turds. We had we had Krampus and then we also had uh, – who was the other one? Jatoon. Jatoon, yeah. Both, both Christmas events, as long as they were. I mean, what was it, 30K for Jatoon? It was absolutely absurd. I have no idea why their Christmas events are always terrible. I never understood that. Yeah, maybe this year they'll have something better. So, we'll see. But when it comes down to predicting exactly how long things will last and everything else, it just depends. It could last for three years. So, it, there's no way to just be able to tell right away. The, yeah, I, I, I play a game. It's called Heroes of the Storm. And, uh -huh. you know, they killed they killed their pro scene and basically said we're going into maintenance mode. Yeah. That was, you know, that's like almost a year ago at this point, And I still play and it's still viable. They still provide balance updates. They still do the bare bones basics. And, uh. It's still a good game. <laughs> I think we'll see. Like I said, I'm, I, I will change, play I until they literally turn the servers off. Yeah. We'll see. That's the thing. It might it might take them till then for me to max out all my troops. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if you were gonna make me, you know, bet actual money on picking of this thing turning off, I would say it's at minimum two more years from now. Minimum. What I would have to do is a little bit of marketing, bring in new players over the holidays, and then balance the effing game. A great run, you know, revitalize war. And, uh, you, you know, they could really get a nice run out of that. Do you think releasing... And not have to worry about the new widget. 
Do you think releasing a new troop next year would be a smart move? An existing element. Well, yeah. But do you think it would be a smart move? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You know, like a melee fire troop. Okay. That, that would be totally fine. And that would that would actually make uh, fire troops because of how people uh, treat all those fire relics you have, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah There's something more out of them. Exactly. So players that they're have them, space. yeah, they're taking up space. People are fusing them away, and then like Jim, and uh, then when they'll, they'll release a nice melee fire troop, and then Jim will be regretting it. It'll be all great. <laughs> I got all my four star fires, bud. <laughs> okay. I got. I still got Doomfire and all of them. Good, because Doomfire is sweet. I like Doomfire. Oh, Mac, the leveled version of everything. Yeah. Up dragon helms, I don't keep them. <laughs> oh, come on. Physical resist dragon helm, that's the best. Yeah, it's solid. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though. As people are saying, the game is still fun. It is still fun. I have played other games in my during during my time of playing Donna Titans, and I always say, you know, I still enjoy playing this game. Now, I'm an, I'm an event player. I'm, uh, I, in other games, I'm big on other games having events as well. So I am I am an event player. I know this. It is something that I I truly enjoy. But I also enjoy progressing in games too, as well. So this has been a, a you know an amazing trip, working my way all the way up to twenty four right now. And I'm just I know as soon as I'm Castle twenty five, I'm like, well, what do I do now? But I know there's still. I don't know. You know what you do? You will mm-hmm. never, ever level all your relics. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, because so titans and, and, and relics will always be a thing. It's like a never-ending story. Yeah. There's always something to do. That's one of the things I love about the game is, you know, I always have relics to level. I always have titans to level. I always have something to do. Good. Run out of things to do. I think that's what kills games. Right. No, but it's just, it's just, it's the it's the tactics they use that I think they need to improve. So you take a franchise like Clash of Clans. Now it's not what it was. Okay, it was the all time insane success story, but it's not what it was. However, new content. You know, they gave you more stuff to level, and they just gave you more stuff more to stuff. do. Look at that. Yep. Almost at 11k souls on stream. I never played Clash of Clans, actually. Ooh, should I pull my Bulwark Titan? Really? I'll, I'll hit 11k. I... Definitely. Go on. DOT is the first mobile game I've, I've ever played. And I've played this, like, what? Over two and a half years. Yeah, I mean, Clash of Clans was fun. I mean, you know, it, it had a war mode, and uh, it was a lot of fun because you, I mean, man, you talk about having to strategize your battles, and, you know, there, there wasn't a lot of tactics involved. It took a lot of planning and stuff. It was really fun and, and deep. But this game is like a whole new level of depth. Oh, you want to level it up? We need to talk later. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, so they teased about the sixth skill for the Titans on the last live stream, too. I agree with Vintage. It'll be around for at least another two years, says Corey. Still going, Soldier? Yeah. There was actually a, a section of the stream where uh, Drum uh, was uh, uh, giving the full speech. Pontificating. Yeah, pontificating about, uh, about you, Soldier, so you better hopefully rewatch. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, let's see. Uh, there was a time span to games. I'll likely warp on DOT after four years. Oh, I stopped COC after three years at Town Hall 10. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I do have to work tomorrow. Yeah, run, fellas. Bedtime for the little ones. We'll yeah. catch you later. All right, see you later, Vintage. Yeah, have a good one, Vintage. Yeah, I'm going to be wrapping up here soon, actually. I'm just going to run these 33 portal stones down, so we have 11 more battles. So... But everybody can keep keep talking if they'd like. I'm just forging relics. I gotta 
clear out my relics. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that too after the stream's over, I think. I think I have enough two stars to last me out. I'm going to pull my bulwark titan, or, or, or my bulwark token at 11k. I got 11k souls on stream. Can you believe that, D? Nice. And nice. everybody else. A lot of triple stacking. I pulled, I pulled my Valorant too. Oh yeah, I'm definitely pulling a, I'm definitely pulling a fourth Valoran. I already have two oh, Vol, yeah. I have two Vol stands and three Valorans. I'll, 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 if I have a choice, I'll take another Valoran. I don't have any Vol stands, but that's this is my third Valoran. I got two other ones maxed. Now you get to all listen to the crickets. Now, it was mentioned earlier that uh, my live streams aren't super rambunctious or always crazy and lively, but a lot of times it does have to deal with the, the people that are on the uh, Discord with me, which, of course, when people do get lively, it's, it's absolutely awesome. But when it comes down to me being lively, if you ever have witnessed a daytime stream or afternoon stream from me, I have a lot more ener energy, so... At nighttime like this, I'm pretty beat out. So I'm gonna get off here shortly and then head to bed and probably get like five hours of sleep and go to work. But <laughs> la listen, 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 listen. Last night I got like ten hours of sleep, so it was insane. I went to I went to bed at like seven thirty. So yeah, well, I'm, I'm off tomorrow in the next two days because yeah. I took them off for conquest. Oh yeah. Oh man. That's that stinks, Jim. I was just gonna say because I I do have off on Saturday and Sunday, so I can sleep in, so it'll be okay. But I've already hit my minimum soul amount that I wanted in this event. I wanted to go between eleven and sixteen k, so I don't think I'll be using any more relics after I'm done using these. Actually, so. If anything, I'll just uh, finish out with this, and I'll keep all the tokens from this event <laughs> to go forward with. So, that's awesome. Because I won't need them in Conquest. Well, I won't, I'll be hopefully using them in the, uh, uh, what's it called, for the next Egyptian god. Which hopefully is going to be... be that cat one? Yeah, it's going to be the cat one, so hopefully it's going to be sweet. Uh -huh. We will see. At least you stream Zalon. Last week was woeful. Yeah, well, I stream. I, I, I try to at least stream once a week, no matter what, so everybody has something new to watch and something new to, to listen to while they, while they grind. If anything. At my bare minimum, if anything, right now. Sorry. I don't, <laughs> I, mean to say, say, I don't mean to say it like that, because if anything, it makes it sound like... Uh, I just don't have enough time, but when it comes down to the way these work weeks have been, I don't always have a lot. But I did get my f a bunch of fusions done on Monday. I had to make sure that I got that done. Because you only have a, that short window of one day. Yeah. Yeah, they should... That, I don't know why that's not <clears throat> at least every other week. You know. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. That is very kind of you. Corey just donated five dollars. Five dollars for five hours oh. of sleep. Thanks for the streams alone. Oh, I got a dollar. <laughs> I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thanks, Bo. Well, I, I I had to do it manually. I don't have my stuff. I, I truly appreciate that, Corey. I 
I bet you can answer this, Zalon. What witch lives on the beach? I don't know. I know. Do, I know. Do you do? Yeah. A sandwich. Ah. <laughs> Very nice. What up, Bob? Very nice. <laughs> All right, seven more battles. I'm going to do this up. Go out strong. Was it Corey that asked you that? No, that was uh, Mirth Redrum. Murph? Oh, yeah. So, so Murph, a little question for you. What's the difference between a rhinoceros and a lemon? <laughs> yeah. It's got Jim you know? puzzled just as much as it. <laughs> Do I know? No, I don't know. No, I don't know it's either. A lot. I don't know either. Huh? The lemon's yellow. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Yeah, see, because you have to listen closely because I said, what's a difference, not the difference? Details. <laughs> Jim sigh. We got a Jim sigh. Yeah, right. Jim sigh. There he goes. Yeah, here's one for you. How do you how do you fit an elephant in a refrigerator? You open the door, put the elephant in, close the door. I don't get it. <laughs> How do you, okay, let's try a different one. How do you fit a rhinoceros in the refrigerator? Oh, it's still not going to fit just because you open the door and put him in. Yeah, look who's... <laughs> Look Is what, that what you do? Yo, brain. Well, you just said to do with the elephant. That, okay, so, but you have to take the elephant out first, then put the rhinoceros close. Yo, brain says y'all got some corny jokes. And this is oh, coming yeah, from yeah, the brain. Thank you, brain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Remove the trunk, says Fast Cart. Yep, remove the trunk. That's right. How long do you think it takes a giraffe to throw up? Yeah, I'm not answering these questions. Okay. <laughs> Bo's looking these up now. No, no, I'm driving, dude. That, that was a legitimate question. I, that's not a joke. I mean, think about it. It's, it's a long way. This is true. No, Brain, things are winding down. We were, uh, Drum's been on with D. Uh, we also had Vintage on as well on Discord. So the stream's been quite lively. Yeah. A nice episode. I've had dinner. Yeah, see. While Zalon's been streaming, yeah. I, I went on mute while I was eating my Waffle House dinner. Oh, nice. Waffle House, so nutritious. Yeah. Too bad Thunder X is not here. Yeah, he didn't right. Tell me what not to order. Right, Thunder X probably could have gotten you. I haven't even seen him or him for yeah, a while. Yeah, Th Thunder. It's been a while for Thunder X. It has been a while. I'll tell you what, though, he will probably uh, he could have hooked, might have hooked you up with like a, t a ten or twenty percent off coupon. So you could yeah, he could have. <laughs> Get the hook up. I eat way too much waffle house. Just saying, because of my schedule and my travel and. I know there are things I can order on the menu that fits in my diet, so just eat. Yeah, no, Brain, it's just once a week for the most part, and I don't always have a guarantee that I'm going to have everybody else on Discord. It's just whoever can make it, obviously. People are coming up with all sorts of jokes in the chat right now. Sure, you started, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> they like it. What's uh, 
you've heard this one, Jim, but what's brown and sticky? I don't know. A stick? What's red and bad for your teeth? I don't know what. A brick. Brain, help me. Help me. <laughs> Brain says it's not just Uzalon. BMT ain't... Hey, Jim, listen to this. It says right here, it ain't just Uzalon. BMT ain't streamed in a minute. Bo, same. D, y'all slacking. Hey, hey, I tried very hard last night and I couldn't get it to work. So I actually made an announcement and tweeted out that I was having technical difficulties. So see, brain, brain's Wednesday good. night is my normal night that I can 90% of the time be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. And be, uh, and Jim calling you out, you're going to be able to pull yeah. it up. You, well, yeah, you're off. You actually just admitted that you're off this weekend, so you. That's right, Jim. You need you to do a grind. You should be doing a grind stream. Mm -hmm. The community needs to hear your opinions, especially with you know, all this. You, especially Jim. with all this. We got you back, Jack. Yeah, with all this new information, with the new update, and what's going on even in the update after it, Jim. Oh my gosh. There's so much to talk about. It's prime time streaming time, Jim. What's you gonna do? Mm -hmm. I'm still sorry because I didn't have conquest. No. Uh, you know what? You can complain about but, that for two hours. But, we'll listen. Yeah, we'll listen to you gripe about it, and hopefully Val will be. Well, obviously Val will be there, so she'll be able to like try to cheer you up. It'll be great. Captain Frank needs to read directions. <laughs> Jason says the BMT size everything. I'm going to do that at work when a coworker annoys you. Nice, Jason. <laughs> well, that was the whole point of telling the jokes. I wanted the gym side. Yeah. Well, you got it. You got. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> That's right, Jim delivers. Uh huh. That's what she said. <laughs> uh oh, Brain's gonna bust out a joke here. Oh no. You got your chat filter turned on? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do, and it's not catching this one, so here we go. If uh -oh. I have a rooster and you have a donkey, and your donkey eats my rooster, what do we have? Jason says I'm burned. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not answering that question. Jason says I'm burned about <laughs> conquest, Jim. Vintage said it, and he got he got flagged. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, right. Uh... That's right. Oh, you can't look. just advertise it two weeks in a row. And tell us the dates for two weeks of conquest, and then just take it away and not say a word of. Did you ask for a refund. Shut up, bro. <laughs> even and, uh, even though he put in the asterisks, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> no, Fran got away with it, but I'm not going to read it. <laughs> but people that want to hit the live chat button on the stream could read it for all the people watching after the fact yeah but he didn't write it out like Vinny right alright so that was the last battle so let's see where we are check it out Oh, uh, Jim, where is your alliance for this event? We are 34th right now. Oh, nice. Nice. 
had a good time hanging out with you guys, Jim. Oh, you left? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. 30 second, oh, Jim. 30 second, you're right above Hammer. Oh, is that where we're at? Okay. Yeah, and NTG Legends is in 23rd. <laughs> I can't believe that, too. It's ridiculous. And I'm in 7th. Look at that. Everybody else doing a great job. Yeah, there's... there's a lot. You remember that one time that we were... That top 5 was a different type than, like, 6 through 50? And we got pushed up into 3rd? Yeah. Because nobody wanted, nobody wanted another Venom Tusk. Right. They wanted whatever it was below there. I don't even remember what it was below there. But, uh, yeah, we got pushed all the way to third one time because of that soul dropping. Right. Up, oh, Frannick says I'll have to join you guys sometime, Jim. Ah, uh, look at that, Frannick. Hoping to pop over and visit Jim. All right, so. Oh, uh, you're always welcome, Frannick. 23rd. 11,700. So. Oh, and I was gonna pull, pull that. Your token, man. Yeah, I was yeah, just gonna yeah. say. Pull let me token. go. Let me go collect that. There it is. That's... That would be a great time to have the four star clip. Yeah, right. It's like, what am I gonna get? What's up, Tario? What alliance are you in now, Tario? Ready? Four star. I think he's in legends. <laughs> I think he's in Legends this week. Oh, is no, he's not. I just, I just looked at all the everybody in Legends. No, I think he's in Dragons. Oh, okay. Was that D? Yeah. Is Drum asleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had a string cheese. Oh, that's so funny. He had like four string cheeses, and then he like opened up a jar of pickles. I was like, "What are you doing?" Did you not feed him tonight? He was hungry, so. I fed him. Oh, well, wait a minute. It's a weekday. I thought he's supposed to feed you. He is. And I came home and um, he usually opens like the screen door for me. So I come up the deck and it was locked and I had to walk all the way around to the front. And I come in and I'm like, oh, my God, what's going on? There was no food. Nothing was ready. And I couldn't find him. And he was passed out face down on the bed. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've done that before. <laughs> Right. All right. I got relics to find. Another Volstan? No, well, no, yeah. Actually, Volstan. actually, Vintage says, if you pulled Volstan, I was going to come back on the stream so everyone could hear my head explode. Hey, how much How much is Super Chats to pull a Volstan? No, I didn't do that. I, Don't do that. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't pull Volstan. I pulled Valorant. Anyway, so 11,700 souls, D. Can you handle it? I did that all on one stream. Yeah, see. <laughs> she sounds so excited. Yes, yeah, so you know why I'm she's... trying to be quiet because yeah. I'm I'm on the phone. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that yeah. was a low key woohoo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we're and we're twenty third and creaming your precious hammer. So. In their defense, I put all my efforts into legends. <laughs> <laughs> and their and their defense. In their defense, okay, of course, of course. I think hammer's gonna pass legends. Yeah, people are asking you. You, to, you realize it's the same reward, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. It's it's <laughs> okay. it, it's just it's, it's it's a fun competition. It's a yeah, it's a fun competition and 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 a personal one for D. So of course, because her precious <laughs> her precious hammer. Anyway, so everybody in the stream is asking for D to stream. So you better stream on Saturday night, D. These people are going to be. Listen, it's Drum's fault we don't stream. Listen, so it he sounds, tries to blame it on yo, me. Listen, how much time? Since, listen, since when is he in charge? Yeah, exactly. And he's also, he's always in charge. Mm, I don't think so. He just tries to make it seem like I'm the boss. Mm, I don't <laughs> think that's the case. But anyway, so when it comes down to a D, uh, with with Saturday night, see if everyone no, I, ever I listen stream ev on Friday. Well, you want to stream tomorrow? Well, go ahead. Everybody I'm here in the try my best. To okay. Well, listen. Everybody here in the stream that was here the whole time and heard drum, he was. All over that mic, 
and you could barely get a, a word in edgewise. And he claims he doesn't want to play anymore. Yeah, he, he and doesn't I, want. I and won't download Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a shower, and he grabbed the phone and walked away, and then I heard him talking in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh yeah. To oh you yeah. Guys. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. He still loves. The- I don't know. Drum quit DOT, so he has no say in your DOT activity, says Vintage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, wrapping up. Il- oh, Ilu, how are you? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wrapping this one up. But hopefully D will stream on, on tomorrow night so that everybody can join in. And Jim is going to stream. And Jim, Jim is streaming on Saturday. And Jim is going to stream on Saturday. Yes, he is. He's yeah. not He's For not, sure? He's not going to let he it. he took off work. Yeah, he took off work. And I know, Va- but his sidekick, his, uh, his co-host, and, needs to be available. Oh, yeah. Well, Val should have been uh, already cleared with her schedule because they decided about this two weeks ago. So yeah. I think it's going to be okay. I think Jim. Is it Jim? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you cancel, you don't get your deposit back, Jim. Yeah, that's right. Well, no deposit for me, probably. Oh uh, well, we'll see you on Saturday night. I have a night, cool Jim. idea. What? What? If, what if the co? What if we switch out? Like, what if I do an hour and then Val does an hour? <laughs> oh, see, look, oh, Jim. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I kind of like this idea here. <laughs> that seems like well, because. Because I, I know it's a lot on Val, and it's a lot like to do, like, your streams are oh, long. Oh, God, D, hey, uh, stop. You're making it worse. <laughs> Jim's just going to be like, after the, Jim's going to be like, after the first hour, he's like, all right, I'm done with this co-host. <laughs> oh, my God. You're turning it into something that I was not suggesting. Bring, bring on the next. <sighs> Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> You're the best, D. All right, DOT community. I hope everybody has a fun event. I hope you had a great time. Uh, and I want to thank D, Jim, Bo, Vintage, and Drum, who's asleep, for joining and also on Discord. And also, Corey, for your $5 donation. That was very kind of you. I appreciate it, as always. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Have a good one.